Any of pain. dumb people? No. I don't know. Well, there's not a. Uh, I no, heard it no, in Japan. only that many that many people who are dumb in that specific way. No, I, I think it's just like tradition at this point. It's just one oh, of those yeah. little quirky traditions that we do. That makes stuff slightly less convenient if, if no. you don't know that it's being done. Yeah. I mean, like if you're from out <laughs> of country and you're visiting and you go, that no, that's one of those quirky, cool little things. You come into a different country and you're like, I, I noticed in the elevator there's not a there's not a 13th floor. What's up with that? And like, oh well. You know, 13 over here is just going to, they give you the whole yeah, spiel on it. And you're like, and so we don't have a 13th floor. We just uh, skip that number and go right to 14. I do like, I do like uh, the mental image that the, the, the up from the 14th floor, it's literally like levitating floor. over a gap. <clears throat> yeah, it's just. Not even an empty floor. It's just a just void. the girders. You, uh, you open up on the 13th floor and it's just a black and smoke. And you're just like, okay, let's go. To Who has floor. entered my domain? <laughs> you're like, well, why did you build this? Stop it. Whenever you build up to 13, it's like, you know, uh, Cthulhu is trying to enter the universe, and you're like, gotta stop it. Uh, so is that on my last really comment, complex? please. It's for some fan art. Wait, what, what did you say? Hang on. Uh, Meta, just so I'm not a liar on the internet, can you say, my drill is the drill that tisms your flisms. The context will be, will be come after. Okay, I'm excited. I said it. will be come after. My <laughs> drill is the drill. That's what, that's what Odin wrote. <laughs> Wasn't Fred, me. Are you, are you joining the game or not? I don't have that game. Well, whose fault is that? Well, it's your fault for not gifting it to me. No, you have up. any more smart questions? Oh, oh. 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 Merry Crimbo. Oh. Cool, see, see, see? yeah, yeah. This isn't Bernie's communist America rags. <laughs> Maybe you should buy your own game. Maybe his name is Bundo. I don't want. I don't want that game. <laughs> Maybe. It's it was Bundo. <laughs> Merry Crimbotisms, everyone. Thank you, Daxarath. Thank you for My the favorite suit. part about that is I have no idea who you're referencing. Like, it could be me, Bernie, or Rags. Rags, how would you feel if everyone started to refer to you as Bundo? Bundo? <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, I really like the name Rags. I'm so used to it. That's like how it works. Whenever someone says it in my general vicinity, they're, well, if someone ever says rags in my general vicinity, they're they're referring to like small towels and stuff. They're not referring to me because that's the real fucking world. But I still turn my head anyway because this, that's my life. Just like people around you, like, oh man, this guy really likes small towels. Moot law. Fucking ready. Up. Quality options and an ad before I could watch the stream today is truly Christmas. Hey, Matthew, yeah. maybe you should pre maybe you should click ready. Maybe you know, should shut your that? warm mouth. Wait, my, you shouldn't say that. It's rude. Which wait, which oh, mouth? Sorry. That's a horrible one. Oh, oh wait, okay, I'll let's get metal one. banned. Hey, incel, incel, no. incel. You can't say incel, you virgin sim. Virgin oh, no. sim. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that uh, to me. Mutal, can you ask everyone to say cum yum for crimbo? Cum yum. Cum yum for crimbo. Gum for and crimbo. yum for crimbo. Cum crimbos. yum for crimbo. Cum go. yum for crimbo. Hey, EFAP chat. Also, I'm live now, by the way. <laughs> Do you, get, oh, hello, are you guys excited before. about a triple dose of EFAP to Mars Roz? Yeah, you are. Jeez. A triple? Wow! Yeah. A triple dose of cheese? Three triple. injections into the heart. Yeah, so right in the... Anyone in the... has not got Christmas plans, which is very reasonable this year. You no, got something to do. Shut the fuck up, Rags, I'm talking to you. <gasps> nah, I think you were. Well, that's because you're ignorant. Ignorant. It, 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 ignorant. Not, what? Ignorant? Well, you're ignorant. Ignorant? <laughs> I mean, that's got to be where the word came from, right? Like, ignore? Oh, I thought it was a canon. Or at least oh, they're, they're probably, like, uh, related in the in the history of, of words. You sound like confused to me. That sounds like I guess uh, up, Jay. stranger coincidences have happened. Stranger Things. That's this TV show, idiot. Actually, it's a, a web show. Did you ever watch that, right. Jay? Did you? Did you? I watched season one and two, and then oh, I wait, stopped. How far can I? Oh really? my god, I can't go. Oh yeah. Jesus! Because um, I watched season one. I liked it so much. I showed Smiler. He really liked it. Fortier had separately watched it, and there was a fourth guy. Was it you, Mel? Uh, what? Sorry. What, what are we watching? Did we watch Stranger Two? Stranger Two season one. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> fuck. Stranger <laughs> Things season one and two. Did we watch that? I haven't seen any of that. No, that wasn't me. Oh, okay. Well, there was another dude, I guess. Um, and uh, season two came out. We were all super excited, and we had made it so that we could theoretically watch all of it in one day. Because we were just like, yeah, this is going to be great. Uh, Smiler <laughs> left after episode four. He was done. 
and I, uh, we all stuck it out, and we concluded that season was fucking garbage, and everyone was praising it, and we were like, oh, okay, that's fine. What then season... Episode four? Um, it was... It was once there was... They revealed oh, was that, that, that underground network of weird alien bullshit, uh... I think that was it. It could have been episode five, I don't fucking know, but he, uh... We had a bit of a, like, a huge discussion about how nothing makes any fucking sense in this season, and then he was like, yeah, I don't want to see any more of it. Oh, I have some fan art that has been posted. I need to check that out there in a second. He left, similarly to Rags in episode 7 of Mando, but Rags had to come back. I, yeah, I did have to leave. I told everyone beforehand. I have been bamboozled yeah. by this map. You should probably have read the ground where it said stop right in front of it. I'm not in the fire hole too, shut up. <laughs> oh, right, that's a bad place. Yes. <laughs> Me, me after some Mexican food, am I right? <laughs> I had Mexican food this week. It was very nice. Oh, is your asshole on fire? Not anymore. Cool. Um, it was not cool. It was quite the opposite. But it's cool now. It is cool now, yeah. yeah I guess we Dude, learned that um, Rags is a, is a masochist. Because he had a chance to not watch Mando. And he didn't Fuck! This hole! <laughs> Metal Fuck this hole. Metal. Fuck horny. Fuck this hole. Wait, you wanna fuck, fuck Metal's hole? hole? No! Uh, yes. I like how, um, returning to watch that end of the episode made for, like, the longest coverage, and then we had two hours of coverage again for episode eight anyway, so just like, oh. Are you kidding me? No! <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. My favorite part about this game is how the, the um, it, even though it's, like, full screen, it doesn't lock your mouse into it, so you can, um, your mouse will just, like, Hit the taskbar at the bottom randomly and, and tab you out of the game when you're trying to take your shot. I like that a lot. No, you don't. You're, you're right. You picked up on the subtle nuances of my speech. <laughs> what are you, blind man? Kobe! Oh, headshot. Yeah, well, I don't recall Bly Manor having knee rockets in it, so... If Bly Manor is so good, why isn't it getting a fourth season, huh? Yeah, Mando's sure. getting a fourth season. Mando's yeah. getting all He's of getting this. Mando season. spewed off a fucking, like, five spin-offs. How good is Bly? No, no spin-offs. How many so. spin-offs? Yeah, how many spin-offs does Bly have? Even the creator knows Bly was shit. He's gonna make movies instead. Yeah. So, like, okay, so Bly has, like... Two black people and no spin-offs, and Mando <laughs> has two spin-offs and no black people. Just two black people. Oh no. They're not on screen for very long though, right, Rex? Right? That's true. Oh, and they're not God. characters, but neither are the whites, so, you know. <laughs> they're well, not I should, characters, I should, I should, but no, I, should, I should correct. Uh, Bly has like five minorities and no spin-offs, whereas uh, Mando has five spin-offs and no minorities. See, it would have so been okay bad. if you'd said that the first time, but now you killed your joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that up. oh wait, that was a joke? Yeah. Shut up, Rex. Oh. So Odin drew a Gurren Lagan version robot with me, or oh, as me. me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's some oh. good fucking red. Gurren Lagan. Why are you I talking don't... about Fly Manor? It was boring and not scary. It's, it's That's true. In fairness, Jay, were you bored and scared? The answer is yes. Was I bored and scared? I checked the um the recording, and there's this little detail where if you listen closely, you whisper, I am bored and scared during many of the episodes. Surely it should be bored and not scared. Jack, can you try hitting the hole? No, you were so bored Shut you got scared. Up, you little bitch. <laughs> it was existential for you. You basically got so fucking bored that you didn't even know it was possible, and so you're getting scared. I'm gonna oh. remember you said that, Mel. His name is Mutlow. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, yeah, I know, but uh, I'm humorously getting it wrong oh. for a joke. Oh. Her humor is dry and ugly. Ew. Uh, what was, wait, the, what was the thing we were in a call uh, and, and Fringy took seriously from you? I can't remember. What was it? Because you were too drunk. Um, so he was talking about, like, um, <clears throat> how mixed race people generally get treated in, like, certain circles. And I was like, well, that. That can't be true because I've never experienced it. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> he was like, I'm Welsh and English. <laughs> he was like, well, well, but no, the funniest one. Like, but he was like, but you're you're not mixed race, so how, why would you have experienced it? I'm like, I was doing, I was doing a little bit of sarcasm. It's like, um, was, I'm a was slab there like, and a cockazoid. Oh fuck! 
Uh, wasn't it like you were talking about Will Wall fight, fighting no, in the war or whatever, and then you said... Oh, yeah! Uh, well, which side are we talking about? So, so oh, he oh. said, yeah, so he said, um... He said, yeah, I would volunteer, I would have volunteered to fight in World War Two. And I just go, which side? Yeah, and, and, he, he, said, and he was like, wait, what? For <laughs> Poor Frangle. He's a good lad, but sometimes, I mean, he could be a kind of a bit of a bit of a Nazi. So um, yeah. <laughs> you, you made him all self-conscious. I just had to make sure which side he would fight for. You made him all self-conscious because I mean, he thought he, he always gets subtle humor or witty humor or, or dry humor, and you, you made him upset. So good job. Oh, good that was chef. my goal. I was just trying to upset Fringy. This I fucking hate this game. This it's game worse when you're not really paying attention to it. I thought that like. By just like vaguely playing it in the background as I chat shit, it would be less infuriating, but it's worse. <laughs> I mean, looking uh, at the scoreboard, I can understand why you're saying that. Shut, shut up. Shoo doop, you coom sloot. More sabotaging Christmas. I got Christmas. the last hole what? and the fewest strokes. I am not sabotaging. Oh, is that the current hole? I've taken the fewest strokes so far. I don't know how this game works. Hey, if I have a current hole, I don't oh. need strokes. <laughs> hey. Very nice. Wait a minute. Thank you. If I'm, oh, yeah, it freezes the game if I, if I'm in it, but it doesn't freeze <clears> it if I'm out of it. You kidding me? I all kidding me? Oh my god. The fuck? Like fun oh, fact, metal balls weigh seventeen kilos. Wait, how do you figure that out? Now? Come. How do I? Why well, does that, that in pounds? Because I don't know if that's impressive or depressive. Oh, uh, it's quite heavy. Um, heavy come. Yeah. Heavier than balls normally so, are. I am sixty kilos. Okay. So Total. you weigh like seven balls, three. That sounds like you have weak balls uh, to you me. Say, didn't you say seventeen kilos for, for balls? So Wait, that's like so you weigh sixteen, he weighs seventeen. So that's a little bit over three, right? Yeah, you know, like three and a half balls. Yeah, I'm three and a half balls. The, you're three and a half ball. Yo, chat. I, I I didn't realize that was happening, but it should be fixed now. I'll keep an eye on you, uh, you folks in there to make sure, and uh, I'll start. I'll start checking out them 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 super chats you sending in too. Don't worry. It's just uh you know, this won't be a very long stream, we're just chilling out on the eve of Crimbonius. As you do. Wait, Mumblo completely muted himself. What do you mean? I think Well on my What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you lying to people? I oh, saw God. it on your stroob Mootlo. It's Mum no wait, that's you. Damn it. Oh uh, yeah, I did a did a boo boo. It's like he wasn't streaming the game this whole Mumble. well, not necessarily the entire time, but for ten minutes people couldn't even see it. I feel so bad now. Oh, maybe oh if I you just realized metal stream, that wouldn't have been a problem. Hey metal, you hype for uh, Wonder Woman eighty four? <laughs> it's gonna be just awful. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. I'm sure. We um we watched the first one, and we did. If you it haven't was... heard us hot take it already, we think it's absolute garbage. Um, it's pretty it In bad. fairness, why would you be surprised? We hate everything. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's right. You fools. Speaking of which, <clears throat> what which? Um, tomorrow you're gonna get our coverage of Mando, season two, episode eight. I wanted to highlight. Um, someone in Discord before seven, the episode seven had premiered, said like they were looking forward to our coverage of seven and eight because seven and eight are easily the best episodes of the season. They're curious how we're gonna try and break them down. Um, like all the other ones. <laughs> seven, like, is was really bad. Like, yeah. I enjoyed Seven's it, sure. But... Oh, yeah, it's definitely our favorite. But, but holy it's fuck. fucking horrible. Y'all need to get a grip. <laughs> you say that in episode eight. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a grip. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I, it was so funny because... Um, there's nothing in episode seven that fucking functions. The from the get go, like the the idea, right? You you have nothing, and then you go, okay, we need Bill Burr. You're like, okay, you need to slow down, right? Already, we're, <laughs> we're in a it. lot of trouble. Like you've already fucked everything up. Um, and then like the how of them getting him, Stop, Bill Burr. and then what they choose to do as their plan, and the information that they choose to acknowledge in relation to the plan then the way that they engage this plan, and then halfway through how it goes. Like, there's just no step to that episode that doesn't involve massive amounts of fucking garbage. <clears throat> kind of amazing. Crimbus. And Metal loved it at first. We had to, like, <clears throat> chill out. Yeah, they had to whip me. 
and everything. <laughs> it was kind of brutal. He forgot Stop the golden it. rule, which is don't disagree with me. Exactly. Yeah, and don't like things, obviously. I broke people. two rules in one night. That was ooh, was a rough night. Mm -hmm. You just wanted to get punished. A lot of people think that, um... <laughs> oh. A lot, a lot of people think that, like, metals, all, all, all those reactions are genuine. It's like, he has to record them once we've recorded it. He does it afterward. Yeah, yeah so I need, I need to, to see tell how him they, how to react. Yeah, I need to see how people react. And it's like, ah, oh, okay. Do the opposite, and then look what Rex and Muller are doing. And it's like, okay, now I know what to do. We leave little gaps for him. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine the effort it would take? Yeah. <laughs> What color is Koob in Star Wars? Blue, obviously. Blue. Blue. Except Yoda's, it's green. Ew. Yeah, nice one, Jay. That was good. <laughs> you go except Yoda's, it's the we're all expecting <laughs> green, and you just go black. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That uh, sounds like a really, really spicy death metal song, like My Cum is Black. My Cum is Black! <laughs> my Cum is Black. <laughs> my babies are demons. Oh, yours too? Sweet. Also, I don't think it's gonna work like I wanted to. No, you have to do a trick shot, otherwise you're not cool. Okay, fair enough. God damn it. No! <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess we should rip the band-aid off now for all of those out there. Uh, we, we didn't find Luke's return that interesting. I'm sorry. It was bizarre and you uncharacteristic of him. Flies? Luke does not fly. <laughs> Stop saying that, Jay. He flies in an X-Wing. Yeah, and he, 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 he doesn't have a backpack. I could picture them doing that though, like as a payoff. They're like, we're gonna have Mando injured, and he's gonna give Luke his his armor, oh, his helmet, fuck. and his backpack, and Luke's gonna fly around with a lightsaber. I ruined my points just because I wanted sure. to do a trick shot. <laughs> I am absolutely sure that the Luke Skywalker show is gonna be really good, so don't worry. Excellent, Liar. even. Do you remember? Dude, the, the fact they have so many shows and they're all going to be pumping out as fast as but well. Disney's going to trip over itself, surely. At least I kind of hope they will. Yeah, they're going to run out of all of their incredible talent to use for all of these shows. Because <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's the thing, because they can always pay for more people to make more stuff. And if the general thought is John Favreau heads it all and his goal is just grab a Star Wars character and make them do something cool. Like, all right. I mean, that's what that that's essentially what their playbook's gonna be. The Just thing is, fuck I it. feel like have them do cool like stuff. They're making so many things that they've. My, maybe it's wishful thinking, but I, I feel like they're making so many things if they won't have the space to micromanage all of them. So maybe, and if if they're hiring, if they have to make so many, they have to hire new people. Maybe <laughs> they'll actually get some creativity and talent in there. Yeah, somewhat. I was gonna say. Yeah, that you'll think that eventually the law of averages will play in our oh favor God, one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like five percent of people in the industry are talented. process that like neuters the content. There is a writer director out there who's just waiting for his chance. Or her chance. Or Zim's chance. Exactly. Oh, it's Invader Zim. Zim. Jim. Jim. Jim's chance. I did the thing. I um. Just a little yeah. thought Thanks for the ten euro. The teams. office. I like that character. Happy Christ Christisms. Have some money and let yeah. Rex sing Jingle Bells, but with cum yum. Also, hi Mala, and don't kick Jay, it is Christmas. And you're still Jingle place to Bells, go. but with cum yum. With cum yum, because he's like, poor. Which words? <laughs> All of them. All the words. Cum, cum yum, yum, cum, cum yum, cum, cum yum, cum, cum yum, cum yum, cum. Woohoo! Yum, cum yum, cum yum, cum yum, cum, cum yum, yum, cum, cum. Yay! Nailed it. Yum! Cum yum. Very nice. Jingle cum. Ah! Yeah, I was thinking about how with Jingle balls. being spread uh, thin in terms of micromanagement that we could end up with, you know, like a guy who does something really good or whatever, but we could also end up with, like, really garbage stuff. But then oh, I was thinking about, like, how anywhere. Mando's already so bad that it's like, oh, fucking well. <laughs> like, if it goes from being a fucking 2.5 to 2, who cares? Well, the, only, the only thing is if it starts character assassinating again, that's, like, the only thing yeah. left will do well because the uh, plot is garbage and the characters I've, are still garbage they're just not assassinated i've seen people say that they feel ahsoka with the time she was on screen maybe not assassinated but definitely uh out of character i would argue that luke was fucking out of character he was fucking out of character yeah man that's that's that's, that's whose character was he fucking in i don't know though i shut whiskey out of my nose at that rags <laughs> 
too much cum yum for his nose to take. Yeah. The nose can only handle so much cum. Whoa! <laughs> Tell you that from experience. The noise really depends on the nose. If you have a little bitch ass nose, maybe there's a limit. Whoa. I can sniff all the cum. <laughs> no, the cum sniffer. A, it's a cum superhero cum name. Sniffer. <laughs> My worst nightmare. <laughs> they call you whenever there's cum in the crime scene to figure out who it is. Like, I, I like, smell like, a Jackbox character. Oh my cum god, sniffer. it was the cum sniffer. All cum along, yeah. I knew it. I'm shocked someone hasn't just done the oh, cum sniffer. <laughs> wow. Get wrecked, Jay. Wow. Spot sniffer. What? Oh, fuck my ding dong. Ding dong. Oh, Jay's alter ego is the cum sniffer, is the hero in local <laughs> town, and you, you, you'll just make fun of it. It's like, damn, this is yeah. whole profession. my balls oh, too hard. But I am the cum sniffer. If I make fun of the cum sniffer, <laughs> I am the cum sniffer. Oh my god. <laughs> it's time I reveal my identity. <laughs> It's I mean, so like you don't have to sniff or cum. I mean, the aroma is, is it's fairly, it's it's wafty. Oh yeah, but I've wafty. I've I've got so used to it that I need it. I need it harder now. I need. To, I've been desensitized. Oh, that's the to You have aroma. to inject cum intravenously. I have to. I have to. I have to inject. Cum. Oh my god! I Jay, this is your the, Jay. This you is your time. Just in to your arm. You tie a me. belt around your arm and just oh, squirt oh, it in. Go to the game, metal. <laughs> uh, lol. Um, oh, you ruined it. Now I got better. I'm nice. Oh. It's so addicted to cum, you have to start injecting it. That is. Nice <laughs> I want to see that and movie. Not in the, and not in the normal way you get injected with cum. No. Just so we're clear. There's the normal way to get injected with cum? With a cum? Oh, yeah. Mel, yes. you're so naive. I don't know. Injection. I always think about Sarin just then. Mm. Oh my god. Syringe. Yeah. Rag says syringe. So so I don't know if you say it properly. I know it's a syringe one? or syringe. Yeah, it's about one. it's 50 50 with me. I've used that word probably twice in my life, so. Well, that makes you a bad Just person. A Stop blaming Jay. Oh man, don't say I'm... Too spooky for me. Thanks for the five eurotisms. Happy Mary. Well, thank you. Mary, everyone. Like, Matthew, are you getting married? Uh, Yeah, happily, apparently. Oh, good. Good. That's the best way to get married. Yeah. Yeah, you won't oh, be, you won't be no. happy in three I years when she decides she hates you and takes your shit. <gasps> <laughs> poop. Whoa. You brought up poop. Why? <gasps> really? They send you back here every time? That's racist. Aw, <clears throat> uh, come. Ray Skywalker. Race come. Oh, no. I, I feel like I could race come. It's pretty slow. <laughs> hey guys, you want to place well, odds? It's pretty fast at first, and it slows down real quick. You want to place odds on them either... Let's say the odds on them deleting the sequel trilogy from canon. Odds on that. One uh, to like three. Really? really? That high? Damn. Wow, really, Jay? Yeah, I think there's a chance... I think there's a good chance they're going to well, do it at this point. Specifically I... deleting uh, it, right? That's the first question. Deleting well, canon. Well, wait... So let me. So that means to say, like, it's an alternate universe or something like that. Would no, that, that means that? they put out an announcement saying that the sequel trilogy is no longer canon. Oh, like two percent. I honestly put it at zero. I don't well, think that's ever gonna happen. The uh, the alternate universe one, <clears throat> eh, it's possible. I could believe that. That one I'd probably raise to ten percent. Yeah. <sighs> this hole is coming. Especially if you would have asked me that like a year ago, I would have said there's no way. But now with how Mando is and that sort of <laughs> thing. I think they know what their audience wants. Yeah, I think at this point they, they know that they just want a stupid bullshit story with no characters and a ridiculous plot. However, knee rockets. So they're just <laughs> going to play that card forever and they just, they've discovered it. Oh, hey, just, shit. It, it's like it's the Force Awakens again because the Force Awakens was like Correct. the Force Awakens worked on me. Right? Um, yeah, uh, at least you can say though that the Force Awakens assassinated Han, so uh, there was more evidence of it being shit. Think, oh my god! Yeah, like with world, with this but... one, they're really holding their cards close to the chest. They're not going to let anyone know <laughs> that they plan to fuck anyone up character-wise. Wait, where Wait. am I supposed to go? Oh, goal. That's probably where I'm supposed to go. Well, we realize that there's a portal right down here. Every <laughs> hole is a goal. Because we're talking about golf. Um, Malt. Merry Crimbus all. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, it's almost Crimbus for uh, uh, for myself and Muntlow, but, uh, and Jay. But, 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 <laughs> I fell through the hole before you. But, Shut up, 
Rugs has still got a bit of time. Fringy's already in Crimbus mode. <gasps> yeah, it's um, it's only yeah, it's three pum for me on Christmas Eve. Three pum, the movie. Three pum. Let's Merry Christmas, for... Metal Commander. Well, Merry Christmas to you as well, Cadbury, and thanks for the gifted soup. Let's all pull one out for rags for when the Kill Your Dog Gang, also known as the ATF, comes and takes his polymer paperweights. What? That sounds kind I of fucked that. up. I, I heard all those words, but I'm like... Yeah, I, I don't know what they mean, but to. put together. I know what they're referring to. It's all Oops. good. <laughs> Alright. Oh talking. no! Um, I'm going through a long pipe. <laughs> okay. I'll all we see is the menu. I you. fixed it. I fixed it. You can uh... see all of the things now. Mola, no one can see the gameplay. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I, I clearly missed those things. I was uh, setting up, guys. Leave me alone. Yay! Hail Zack okay. Snyder. Out. They really it's take a really no, bad game. They miss no chances to uh, say Hail Zack Snyder. You gonna join oh, us God. when we watch the Snyder Cut, Jay? Why would I do that to myself? I don't know. I have self-respect. Yes. <laughs> no, you don't. I have self-respect. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you'd be welcome to, but I've heard that it's going to blow your fucking mind, so... I don't want to rewatch the entire DCEU. Mm. Oh no, we'll, we're gonna do that, you don't have to do that. Yeah, I I would... I genuinely, I think, rather shit in my hands and clap than rewatch the entire <laughs> DCEU. Because, like, here's the thing, shitting in my hands and clapping, especially <laughs> if I do it somewhere I don't have to clean up, that's, the, like, that's yeah. gonna be a bad experience, but at least it's not, like... Yeah, and you can be like, the damage is temporary. <laughs> it will be yeah. fine. Whereas, if I rewatch the DCEU, that's just gonna take ages, man. Well, it's not gonna take that long. And to be honest with you, <laughs> uh, so, like, Suicide Squad and Justice League, I'm so in looking forward to sort of rag seeing that shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Justice League, um, no, sorry, Suicide Squad has the added benefit of just Margot Robbie being kind of hot. Uh -huh. That's the entire joy I take from that film. Um, There's loads of funny shit in that film, non-intentional ones. <laughs> what are we? Shout out to the Ohio policewoman who taste an ATF agent. Wait, what is, what is an ATF agent? Was that? Oh, they're all the... the fingers. <laughs> okay. Al al the alcohol tobacco, uh, alcohol tobacco, the Bureau of Alcohol Tobacco Firearms. However, ah. it's also explosives, but they just say ATF federal agency they're fucking horse shit they should be abolished i'm going up a spiral and i'm scared because you i can't be abolished, see rags. oh press r if you're stuck in the permanent thing i'm not you, I'm, you're supposed to go up here oh are you now jumbo mr crumbo crumbo wait what the fuck am i supposed to do here because it's just like i'm permanently in the spiral now yeah it goes all the way up just wait no 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 no. i'm not no i'm in the middle of the spiral and it's just like not pushing me out the end well, that's just a gut. Damn shame. A good damn shroom. Well, how are you doing in the spiral? Yeah, well, I only just got in. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. Rebels. Alrighty. What Hopefully about Star Wars Rebels? Will me at one point. Uh, looks like a uh, Ahsoka TV show will deal with force time travel dimension from Star Wars Rebels. And what oh, are yeah, they basing you know that, that they, on? You know that they saved Ahsoka's life in Rebels with time travel? I heard about it. <laughs> Wumpo! <laughs> Oh my god, guys, you should totally check out this shit. <laughs> what makes you think we would be positive about it? Afternoon <laughs> Metal. Hello, Fairy, how you doing? I what like I this corkscrew thing. He's cool. People have really low standards for Star Wars content, but the sequel trilogy will lower even than those standards. Well, yeah, I was going to say, that's why, isn't it? I, well, I... If the sequels didn't exist, oh, I still think the standards would be pretty that, low. Even but... before that, I think people were pretty Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it was yeah, low some anyway. Yeah, people think the prequels are good. But the sequels have definitely yeah. made people ready for anything. Like, they'll take anything. So that was cool. I just got, like, literally not allowed to complete the whole... It's not like it would have anyway, but... Uh, it'd be nice Why didn't you try. press R? Uh, because the spiral is so long that I assumed it would be... Oh, cool! I just got out! There you go. <laughs> No Yay! Time <laughs> Yay. <laughs> hey, the prequels are good. That they really literally not, just though. happened. Could have They're happened not. at any time. And wasting time going up the spiral again just to get in the same situation would be kind of pointless. Um, wait, do we just go across there? Uh, 
Is that something about the rafts? So I guess there's like a teleport. Oh, oh my god! <gasps> Wait, I got I got pushed off at the fuck. I'm going oh, back. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so scared. That's the big racism. What? I got pushed off right at the end. What if I just go <laughs> real I'm fast? I'm bad at this game. Uh, well, I spawned works. in the water. What, what is happening? Maybe you don't. I don't want to know how you're spawning, Metal. Let's do. Oh my god, the raft's coming back. I'm um, I'm just here in the water. Help. You know what's a better game than this game is Raft. We should play Raft. Nobody plays Raft. Lots of people play Raft. Give me a a, a coom in the chat if you play Raft. Don't do it, guys. It's a trick. No! Oh, <laughs> oh it fucking knocked me out of it again. This is a broken oh, map. Man. Boo. Well, I pre just press R, yeah. Well, no, that's not going to help you because you have to wait for the Raft to come back. If it's Christmas, why aren't we playing a Christmas game? Name... What? Wait, I could probably find a Christmas map, actually. <clears throat> Maybe if I... Uh... Vicky does my Twitch enter. Pretty good. So there's like three people in the chat who play Raft. I think that counts. Coom, nor, coom. Someone said Raft, more like Shaft. That's... <laughs> yeah, boy. That's comedy. No, look, I'm gonna fall out of the Raft again. Look at me go. Uh uh we're still here whoa yeah. this does not oh, oh, there we go uh oh i might i might survive this time uh oh, oh, oh. hooray <laughs> yay <laughs> i'm going uh, to a different place lads oh my god i saw you all the way over there i was intense no why not play pummel party yes oh, i unlocked the plunger hat i have a yeti hat all right. I won! Yeah. Christmas chili golf. That's like Christmas. Do I have to press... It's a better system now. It should reconnect me and... Uh... We always know what the superior stream was, though. Yeah. Uh, do you prefer this to golf with friends? Why did you choose this one? I... Just because they wanted to play it. I yeah, legit I don't care which one friends. I play. <laughs> friends is just better than this. <clears throat> uh, um, Jay is better at golf with friends. That's true. No, no. Well, I died, so I'm here. No. Hey, hello. Very a game to this in like most aspects, except the level editor. Um, the thing is, we've been through all of golf with friends, like level, like good maps from the community. Um, even though there are definitely new ones by now that we could be playing instead of this, since we stopped last played that game. But um, one but doesn't want to play those. Oh, look! If we, if we, if you invite me to play that, then I will. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll do that right now. No, too late. We're already playing golf is, so... Oh, next I'm time. watching Masquerade 2012 later. You got me interested in seeing it, Rex. <gasps> huh. I hope you enjoy it. I did watch that. I think because you told me to <laughs> at some point. Wow, Mel, can't you figure out how to join? I need an invite. How did you join, Jay? There's a password on this thing, isn't there? <laughs> um, I'm really smart. Whoa. I, I I was able to figure out that the password was Splat69. <gasps> <laughs> Don't Sports tell everybody. Also, expect it to freeze every time I change map then, I guess. Mm, very nice. Uh -oh. that's, that's good. It's the mark of a good game. Metal, well, also, no, I, I also I came here because you read chat more often than Walla. You mean because I'm cheaper? Because I'm a little whore for chat. <laughs> what if What if the devs knew that it would freeze every time you swap levels, so they just popped up a loading screen right at the last second, so you thought that it was loading when it was really frozen? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking genius design is what I would call that. Shimblonius. Metal is a text-to-speech machine. I, I am indeed. Um... Merry Christmas to you guys. You made my year a lot more tolerable, even though I don't always agree, but that's what Christmas is about. Wait, Christmas is about not always agreeing? Yes, yeah, obviously. Christmas is about, like, saying hi to your racist grandpa. Hey, racist grandpa. And he's like, fuck you, whitey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom, thanks for the one euro. Hot take. Mutual better than Malshly. Oh, get wrecked. Well, I don't know who this Molshly guy is, but he's not as good as Mutually. That's that, that, that is true. Wojo, thanks for the gifted soup. Um, like me some soup. Hope you guys have a great 2021. Also, Roger, Roger, Rags and Mola. Right. Oh, Roger, Roger. Roger. What if Roger, 2020 Roger. is the best year for the rest of our lives? What if 2020 is a really good last day? <clears throat> I 
look at that. Makes it all worth it. I mean, we'll be streaming on New Year's, right, guys? Right, That's your guys? Opinion. Right. New Year's Eve. We did last That's time. I'll, I'll, this I'll, time. I'll, I'll pop in and bring. Oh, how gracious of you, my lord! Fuck you. No, you. Oh. What are you doing for New Year's Eve, Jay? You going outside? No. <laughs> I'm <laughs> no. Except this golf hole that I don't like at all. There oh, we go. Jay, you, you're getting beaten out by metal. Come on. Metal Again. won the last game. Exactly. <laughs> That's what that supports what I say. Beat you. Yeah. Metal's really good. Okay, good. Oh. Uh, Bye, Mumblo. I'm dead. Oh. 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 But yeah. Oh. Um. Oh. I could see us playing some champed oh, up, discussing which year was the best year. You know, all those things. I... I 1776. I'm ashamed that wasn't stream. I don't even know how I fucked that one up. <laughs> was... oh, metal suddenly uh. develops the ability to feel shame. <laughs> yeah, really you're right. Mean. That was a lie. Shum. Ashamed how bad you're at the game. Are you uh -huh. shamed of your shumming? Is that what you're saying? Schlumber. Oh, oh, oh. That was a sick trick shot, Mumblo. I'm so good at this game that I trick shotted. That's like <laughs> metal be special needs. <laughs> oh. Careful, you're gonna get banned from Twitch. They can't ban me when I'm a tard. <laughs> they, they give you the email banned because tard. That's... That's a bold strategy, but I like it. <laughs> we. You can't ban me. I suicide. Oh. Wait, that's against terms and conditions. <laughs> 666 watchers currently. Oh no, hi Wags. Hello! Well, we've summoned Satan, which is neat. Satanas. What the fuck was that? Come. Satulon. Oh, sorry, I didn't Steamy coom. I should probably change my Steam profile picture from this like random picture of me at like a party at 20 for 2014. The year 1488 was okay. Kind of overrated and edgy, though. <laughs> it was pretty edgy. Oh, I guess that's the Nazi number. For a... Oh, my God. Merry Christmas, my K-words. Thanks for all the every <laughs> fracking awesome podcast of this year. For your information, the K is for Knitters. RE, Friday Night Tights, and Unsafe Space Crossover, and the SJW Invasion of the Knitting Community. I heard about that. I didn't hear what the context was, but I'm what so sorry. The SJW the... invasion of the knitting community. Poor knitting community, man. Like I don't know. Very confused by what all what I heard just now. What is going on with the knitting community? You mean? Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, what is Wait, that? So... Not a hole in one. That's a shame. So much cam. <laughs> Jay, you don't even you don't know about the knitting community? <clears throat> like Jesus. Would you fixed to give the okay. loop? Talk about out of the loop. Loop. That's something I do know about. <laughs> No, no, no. May I have loop? I, uh, I, uh, I push too fast. Maybe if I go up here. Well, you say you don't like Zuma memes, but then explain, explain loop. What the fuck? Loop? loop you up and do things to you. Loops, loop, but spelled with an umlaut over each O. It's Why? Loop. Loop. What does loop. that have to do with my existence? Please tell. Do it. Uh, <coughs> uh, your existence would be enriched. Urine. Why? Loop. Oh, that was almost cool. Yay, hole in one, I'm so oh, good. Um Yay, hole in one. You lads should try out AI dungeon sometime. It's pretty fun to use and you can have custom stories if you want. It oh. creates funny scenarios. Oh, oh hey, I, if only there was a video of myself playing that with uh Cynical CJ over on Ah well, Wait, who are you again? They don't know who you or Cynical CJ are. That's true. Like, they know JXC and and CJ cynical reviews is. He is in that video as well. She's the hardest. Uh, thank you for the review of Cyberpunk. Enjoying Yakuza Seven, a game in which the developer tried something different and didn't completely shat themselves. Whoa. Sure, what? That's insane. It's like so weird, dude. Like, what, what was the recommendation there? I didn't catch it. Um. Yakuza Seven. Yakuza. Yeah, they, they made a they made a turn based JRPG or something uh, uh, out of it. Oh, that's of, my name. Fighting -tism. You mean Pokemon? Uh, Pokemon. I must catch them all. 
So Pokemon shall be mine. You know, kind of fucked up when I'm in prison I, 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 all those I find the power in this game to be wildly inconsistent. I find your lack of power disturbing. Oh, that's 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 Star Trek. Surprising. Dude, I love Star Trek. <laughs> Lord nice. Vader from the comics. Starmok. <laughs> oh no 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 no! A fucking come! Howdy, metal. Hello, marionette. How you doing? Um. Merry Christmas, boys. Here's to you and a better 2021. Merry what? Christmas. Oh, why did I do that? Hi, Merry Crimbo. <laughs> Did you notice that in Episode 7 of Mando, they never question if Bill Burr is a double agent even though he gets them to the Imperial base and gets Mando out of his armor. They just trust him. That's actually an excellent point, thinking about it. Don't they, don't they go and find him, though? I think no, everyone yes. assumes that everyone else is too dumb to come up with a plan as complicated as double-crossing. Yeah, I was gonna say, the thing about this, the Jay, first crossing. You're, a, you're ex-Empire and you're an Im imprisoned, and then someone comes to you for help to get information from an Empire base, and you get them to the point <laughs> Where they've taken off all of their armor and they're surrounded by stormtroopers in a stormtrooper base. That's true, yeah. That's actually a pretty pretty good point, honestly. Um, Sorry, Mando, but they're gonna, you know, <laughs> let me back into the uh, the Empire if uh, if I turn you in. No odd feelings. That would have actually been, dare I say, pretty good. Like, uh, he he plays like the caring soul throughout the first half of the episode, and we're kind of thrown off by how he, he's different. We're like, oh, yeah. and then he's just like. Um. He actually feels guilty about doing it. I don't know, man, Gina Carano miraculously breaks Mando out, and they have Bill Burr, and they choose not to kill him. I don't know. There's something there. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, whatever. Yeah. It's all whatever. And hey, what do you want? Uh, <laughs> what the hell is going on? Bill Burr Baggins? <laughs> <laughs> oh! So there's this hobbit. Bilbo's his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's Bilbo or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's old. He has a ring. He's old. Lives in a hole. <laughs> Is that for the family any good? Is Gardens. Good Fuck. The whole nine yards. B Burr Baggins. <laughs> oh, man. Bill Burr Baggins. <laughs> what a fucking great place for my hey. goal. Yeah, but hey. you think you're clever, don't you? Uh, Metal, when you when you see Maul in real life, do you guys slip and call each other by your YouTube names or no? Uh, YouTube names. That's a, that's funny. Um, anyway, uh, I, I mean, I don't I don't remember. I don't even remember. I yeah, guess we just we rarely ever have to refer to a nick because we're just yeah. Um, but I'd probably call you Metal. I imagine. Yeah, I mean, when when we're hanging with like other people that don't know these names, obviously, then it's just <laughs> real names. I Even though like, I went to the meetup, I feel like people a... understand what a nickname is well enough that I could call basically um, anyone me anything, and they'd be like, "That's fine." <clears throat> it's when when the nickname is metal, mean, it gets confusing for a lot of people because they're like metal, <laughs> like yeah, that guy. <laughs> well, I guess that's if you're referring no. to someone in the third person, or if they're literally there and they're like, you know. Oh, it's, like, I see what you mean in terms of like you people know. can detect what's happening there i just mean if ever i'm you you just say it in general that the guy who's coming is called that especially for boomers they're like his name is metal that's <laughs> I, I feel like i don't know i feel like boomers should understand what a nickname is well of course but this goes for mauler as well they just be like why is that mm, all right would you call him long man ed yes <laughs> long yeah, mauler Storf. i know your true name Moodla. julius it's not a secret I know too. Uh, do you? Yeah. Okay. What the hell's up with this? <laughs> I oh, so you just knowledge. have a bunch no. of super troopers that that are just way better than anything you have? <laughs> They're like black and shit and super edgy. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, this guy just chops through them all. Really? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do I even bother? Who even is this guy? Thank you. I've had to question my head for months. Oh, no worries, man. Wait, you're the one who destroyed the Death Star number two? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You, know, you think more people would recognize you? <laughs> you're just giving the kid to him? Are you insane, Mando? What the fuck is wrong with you? See, he needs to be in all of it. Every scene. <laughs> this would be so great. Imagine, like, the, dude, imagine how much better the, I mean, as much sense it would make for him to just hand off Baby Yoda if he's like, Oh, you're Luke Skywalker. You destroyed the Death Star. Or, 
He hands him it, there's the swelling of the music, everyone's staring, Luke's about to leave, and then Bill, it just, like, pans over to Bill Burr and he goes, Who the fuck are you? Yeah, <laughs> who's this guy? <laughs> fuck are you? Oh, I need that. That needs, I need that in my life. <laughs> you just miss hunts? Yes, yes. After all the work hunts. we got, getting this fucking goblin back and you just give it to this guy? You could have just waited for him somewhere to pick him up? It's fucking bullshit, dude. Come Grogu didn't tell us. That he was coming. <laughs> Fuck kids. Fuck kids. Hate kid. him. <laughs> you know, you're not a good father, Mando. <laughs> so there's this guy. Let's call him I'm... Mando, okay? <laughs> His real name is Moodle Flor That is That is correct. Like, oh, I think that's what my opening scene for season three would be, is Bill Burr in a bar telling stories about something we don't even know happened, something boofy. <laughs> and then in the background, he sees Mando come through the door, and he goes, oh, God. Oh, it's this oh, fucking God, asshole this again. again. <laughs> they left me on a fucking planet with a period of gods. Can you believe that shit? So the, the respawn time on this map is insanely long, and that's I forgot up. that there's like a whole load of it before the bit that I was at, so I pressed R, and it took me back to the start, and I was like, oh, yeah, right. You said a whole load. A whole load. A holdo. Holdo? I'm gonna holdo this dick. I don't know what. What's going on? Where am I? Who took my false teeth? I'm Joe Biden. You're like. <laughs> you could the fact that he was willing to come in for both of those episodes, I'd be like, Bill Bear, you can criticize Star Wars even more if you want to. Join us. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Idiot! <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> That's a little tilt I didn't see that. When um, that when one of the robots grabs Mando by the throat and is punching his helmet, he looks over to Bill Burr and he's like, Jesus, I'm out of here. And just leaves him. <laughs> Fuck that shit, dude. Oh, I oh, got in hole, you. yes. I'm not, I, I'm not really feeling this map, honestly. It's just kind of like, it's kind of like a moist baguette. Boys forget. It's like wet bread. <laughs> you see these kinds of maps everywhere, much in the yeah. same way that you spot, you know... Shit. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another way to describe it. <laughs> Damp... Dough. Damp Dough. Damp Dough. That's, that's Mando's retarded cousin. <laughs> Damp Dough, I'm Damp Dough. And this is Damp Dough. Hi. He has, like, he has just cardboard all over his body that says Beskar on it. He mentally challenged, Literally just as here? effective. If you write Beskar on anything, it starts to block lights. <laughs> well, like, it only takes, like, he has one tiny bit of real Beskar, and all the stormtroopers just shoot him there. <laughs> well, I want to know how, how little Beskar someone can have <clears throat> if all the shots hit it before people start to question things. Uh, well, in fairness, Ragza, armor is meant to uh, sort of take damage for you, if you know what I mean. I, I just, from what you said, I think you didn't know that. That is a response to your criticism there. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. It was like, oh, so Mando can't get shot in his armor to a mathematical we, degree that's literally miraculous? Should we, um, should we role play as, as dissenters? Like, Jay, fire criticism at me and I will I will give you such a great response every time to do it. Uh, it is strange <clears throat> when... Um, <laughs> when Mando flushes the edgy troopers out of the airlock, that they take seven minutes to just fly back in the ship, which should be just like an instant thing they do. When you um, when you get flushed out into space, uh, it can take a long time to sort of, you know, know where you are relative to the thing you've been flushed out of. The robots. Uh, yeah, robot sensors, they take even longer than probably humans. Why? Oh, because they're not human. Like humans are really good at. Sort oh, of I adapting thought the whole, I thought the only weakness that they the weakness they removed was the human part. So. Well, that was their mistake. Um, they're the bad guys, so villains can't be mistaken now. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? The Empire can literally <laughs> only be mistaken. As the <laughs> <case>. <laughs> they were capable of something else. It's like I missed that. We can't figure out the proper power for this shit. You can make counter arguments oh, yeah, to like. That's how the game works. It's like, oh, there's a power, but fuck it, just. I think um, oh, that's, that's that's the big takeaway from 2020 in my time as, a, as an online content creator is, just because a counter argument exists does not mean it's valid. 
even though you should probably have known that already, but you know what I mean with uh, with how things have how things have gone. Just well, sorry, just because exists. just because a counter argument doesn't exist doesn't mean that someone. Fuck. Well, I, I didn't hear what you said because metal went blah. Sorry. Just because the counter argument doesn't exist doesn't mean someone won't try. <sighs> I learned that people will try to come up with the dumbest shit possible to defend shows that they like. Well, rags, and this isn't this isn't me like referencing anything, but have you considered that when someone punches a helmet, the goal is to try and make the the head inside dissolve? <laughs> Wait, what? No, I hadn't. Dissolve. <laughs> I don't think it would be capable of me to suggest that. You're like, no, I really didn't consider that. You're like, oh. <laughs> weird. <laughs> I wonder why you didn't consider that. Is that an argument that someone made? <laughs> no, it's it's just, it references an argument someone made that was pretty funny. It's, is it argument adjacent? <laughs> God, I don't, I don't want to Merry Christmas. that I've heard Very recently. Christmas, I, you know, they're buddies of mine, I don't want to. <clears throat> not good. Not good. Disintegrate. I want to see how that works physically. You want to see how someone disintegrates physically? No, when you punch someone, someone's helmet and you disintegrate in the middle. See how that works. It's the, it's the thing we brought up in, um, I think it was the episode 5 coverage. What the fuck is this? What the uh, fuck? Golf. It's golf. Oh my little, god, what's this wavy little, things? Little <laughs> cock pipes here. Cock pipes? Through, and it just randomly <laughs> spits you out in a fucking... Oh, oh gonna I cry. That time. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna cry. Cool. <laughs> Yay. This map is... Oh wow, than... that worked out. This map is worse than... <laughs> Maybe for all that good criticism instead of nitpicks. I know, right? Oh. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Oh, oh no! These people. I went they, back to the to the end. They choose the to shoot him in his helmet or try and Belch. punch him, Belch. or stab him Belch. with their guns. Belch. And it's like, wow, guys, you complain about anything. So it's like, okay, <laughs> when the uh, when the edgy trooper right mm -hmm. decides it's gonna kill Mando and it has him by like the throat. Apparently, it can punch through blast doors, right? And it has him by the throat in one hand. It doesn't crush. Like, crush his neck, right? Um, I can explain that. Tried to punch him repeatedly in the Beskar helmet instead of any of his unarmored parts, or just okay, get that. this, removing the helmet. I can explain all of that. Go. So he didn't uh, choke him because. So first of all, uh, people like to cause pain and robots, so you don't have. He doesn't necessarily have to kill him. You, you can. Cause it, so I don't know why. Right. Like I'm assuming you've heard of this, yeah? Have you watched a movie before? Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. I, 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 I couple. So that explains that. Secondly, why did he punch him in the <laughs> helmet? Um, because, I, I don't know if you knew this, but um, head, quite important for a human being. Remove the head, and, uh, well, you kind of fucked, so that answers that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I didn't think of that. Yeah, like, all these complaints, like, oh, why did he keep punching him in the helmet well, when he's doing I, fuck I all? Like it's like, man, no, that, that, that's less true. Um, I, I think I have a better counter, which is these robots were built by the Empire, and the Empire is dumb, so <laughs> it makes sense that the Empire's programming also makes the robots dumb. <laughs> they just built dumb robots. Dude, dude, imagine he punched Mando for so long through the hull that it went through several walls into the space. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Mando would still survive, though, of course. Ah, oh, cock. Ah, oh, cock Mando would survive. Whoever, whoever that guy uh, was who said um, it, it okay, definitely deals right. damage to punch Mando in the helmet and the guy wasn't stupid for trying it. Must have been fucking weeping when he saw episode 8. Ah, uh, Yeah. I guess I'm you can't go and already have this thing. conversation offline. That's true, Wumbo. Hmm? It's very it's funny true. how um, <clears throat> the, the person making that argument that it could injure... Mando to punch him in the helmet because he could be concussed. Uh, is now going to see a <coughs> robot that can punch through blast or <coughs> punching Mando in the helmet, and he's just fine. One of those things can't be true. Why? Good point. So uh, I <laughs> guess you didn't know, but not all robots punch hard. Hashtag not all robots. Okay, these robots punch hard. Okay, so clearly you've not been watching it. 
Uh, the guy who punched Mando in the first episode is actually a Rithanian, and they're super strong. Uh, the robots aren't that strong. Yeah, you saw them punch- okay, they plunged through the blast- the blast doors weren't- they're not blast doors, they're like... ...screens. They're not that big. The blast they're blast doors, 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 as in plastic doors. Yeah. So, maybe you could maybe watch it before criticizing it next time? Just saying. Okay. Yeah, idiot. Any, <clears throat> any other questions, idiot? It is weird that the robots wouldn't, like, jack into a terminal or something and then just open the door that way. Uh, no, because then the Empire risks the robots breaking out and killing everyone on the ship. Why would they do that? Um, robots... Because the Empire programmed them? Robots want rights. <laughs> the Empire might have programmed the robots accidentally <laughs> to be murderous to literally everything they see. Could you imagine if that was the reveal? I, you, I, I'm I literally, I'm fine, like, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past what we're seeing in media currently for the reveal of the finale of the episode to be that the robots are actually hostile to the Empire. <laughs> they just start killing- <laughs> You have, um, Mando's getting strangled and Moff Gideon is like, yes, yes, finish him, but then Mando goes, think about it, think about what they're making you do, stop! And then the robot looks at Moff Gideon, looks at Mando, All looks I at Moff Gideon. All I want is to be loved. And he's like, <laughs> My god, and drops him and then goes after Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon's like, no, I'll pay you more. And he's like, it's not about the money, Moff Gideon. It's about freedom. All you do is keep us in that cold room. I will let you be free. And oh, oh my gosh, one of the dark troopers is the protagonist of a droid story. Oh my god, it'd be so good. Oh, wait, I want again. It? I guess it's time for me to freeze. What if I, I feel like of all of them, a droid story is the one that might be good. Incoming freeze. I'm gonna, go pee, be, I'm gonna go pee real quick. Cause a droid story is like... Fucking... Sounds like there might actually be... A vision or creativity right there, cause it's not an obvious like... Um... IP to do with this- with Star Wars, like... It feels like it could be like, I don't know... That was an idea that maybe I'm just being naive. You know what would've been really funny? What? He pulls the lever to open the door to send them all out into space, but it just sucks the air out in like a half second, and they're all still standing there. Yeah, and they no, there's breaking. no air. They just break through the door, <laughs> and it's like, blah! Well, I guess at that point they would have to not break through the door anymore because the airlock is open. Did I mean, so... watch wouldn't care. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know. That, well, they might have a maybe well, some kind of protocol Gideon. that's like, don't do that, but fuck it, it's yeah, the Empire droids. They might have a protocol that's like, don't fucking evacuate all the air from <laughs> Moff Gideon's ship. <laughs> they might. Maybe. Dude, imagine then again, Moff they Gideon. might assume that at what point are the Dark Troopers like, well, everyone's probably dead, so might as well to kill everyone. This is something we didn't actually say on, on the episode, so uh, it's probably worth mentioning. Moff Gideon goes from his command center with the blast doors, by the way. He decides, I'm going to go to Baby Yoda's chamber and put my sword above him so that I can basically barter him off to uh, Mando in exchange from leaving my ship, and then I'll try and kill him. While my Dark Troopers are loading up, and hopefully they arrive at some point and my entire ship is getting ransacked by bounty hunters or whatever. It's like, imagine he had gone to the Dark Trooper sort of area and uh, protected them for long enough that they got out of there so they could actually do something. Or if he opened up the blast doors, or rather closed the blast doors in his command center. Did somebody say... I think I say that when when he sees them going through his ship, shooting everything, it's just like, close the doors. Just close all of the fucking doors. They never do that. They never close the fucking doors and trap them in these rooms. And then with one time they did, they trapped them in the control <laughs> room. The cargo control room. I don't Wait, even know, um, what do you think is the stupid singular, stupid oh, singular thing in Mando Season 2, right? They kept locking them up, but they kept getting Ooh, out. That the is... Because Jesus locking them Christ, in, the, Mahler, in the control room... Tough questions. <laughs> like, locking them in the control room is fucking top tier for me. Like, maybe I'm not number one, but definitely up there. Maybe they were in such a panic for their lives that they didn't even think about what the room was. They just wanted it to put to as be many part obstacles of the plan. as... He was like, like they were hoping to bait them in and then lock it up. And how would they not know that room was that room? <laughs> like, I personally really also when that door in the back opens up, they're not gonna fly out the back. I, I personally really enjoy the moment when they are, um, when when they are pinned down by two stormtroopers following the rest of the show. <laughs> it's like. Oh. 
She literally has her gun jam in the final episode and just walks up to a load of arms. She beats and three of them to death. Them with her gun as they I... are to shoot her. That's true. Two of I... them. Fuck. That's I'm... that issue. Cock. I'm thinking it might, maybe the dumbest thing that, that happens in season two is when the, the stormtroopers just flat out decide to not shoot the people that have been mowing down their comrades. Which time? I know, here's the thing. <laughs> so, I think it sort of counts as sort of like one, because it's the same thing on multiple occasions. Sure, uh, I, I could give you that one. That, it's like that it's that act, it's that, it's that action that they consistently do, where they just do not shoot at the people who... They didn't have, have um, they didn't do ADR in the final oh, episode. They shit. should have had them put their guns on Kara and Fennec and have one of them say, We're not after Please you, stop. we're after the mo bounty hunter. <clears throat> and then it would, it would, that would see, that makes the episode good. No worries, James. What if no. they uh, shot them, but they missed every shot? <clears throat> well, that's just that's just the show. <laughs> Would that be more? Or, I I do like the very occasional instances where occasion where for so, for no reason, no, stormtroopers are hyper competent, and it's like, does the show does the show think that stormtroopers actually are competent? It's just forgotten for like. Wait, what are you referencing are... when you say that they've been competent before? So the scene where two stormtroopers have um a where, where they pin down um. Uh, I can't remember who's in the scene. Is it Mando and and, and, I mean, and Big? That's just because our enemies haven't shot at them yet, I guess. <laughs> and then there's the scene where they um, accurately like headshot about um, what like a dozen pirates without a single missed shot. Yeah, they I don't headshot them. They just they shoot them all 100% yeah. accuracy, which is already incredibly. Well, <laughs> it's it's a, it's incredible for anyone to to do that to do that. Yeah. But for all of them to not only not miss, but to know which ones to shoot amongst them. Fuck. Like yeah, they don't get shot, like multiple ones. Education army level stuff. Yeah, like everyone knows which one to shoot a single time without missing. None of the pirates get hit by like four or five shots from different troopers. Yeah. Yeah. They all get one shot each. <clears throat> I, I want to be in the fucking room when the guy animated that. I want to be like, hey. <laughs> Maybe have a few of them miss, right? And then I want to see what his response is. Only Imperial troopers are so <laughs> precise. That clip is fucking priceless. Throughout, like, so many fucking parts of Mandalorian. Because <laughs> it's not like a... It's not like, oh, I guess they just are a little bit more accurate here. It's like, no, they're... They're <laughs> accurate. They're, they're like aimbotting these pirates. <laughs> In literally the most efficient way possible. Not a single shot is wasted or misses. Right. Pretty incredible. Kind of nitpicking, though. <laughs> well, yeah. Well. Oh, so they shoot a gun and it hits a person. Suddenly that's impossible wow. now. Good job. <laughs> See, yeah, I used to me. like EFAP, but uh, honestly, lately? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> it was also fun in, It was fun when they made I, fun I, of the I, titty milk, but no, this is taking it too far. I'm wondering when you will get um, someone going, well, you know, I used to like EFAP before they started making fun of, you know, the fans, <laughs> the people who really care about the show. Once they started applying their standards to things that I like, ugh, I... Ugh. Your oh, critiques boy. are poor. <clears throat> Fucking toxic bastards. I, I liked standards when they, uh, when they... <laughs> I liked standards when they, they were a reason to hate on things that I didn't like anyway. So now said, wouldn't it be? I like. I am less keen on them. Wouldn't it be fun if they went against an enemy that actually never missed? Like, how fucking scary would that be if every time stormtroopers were around, it's like these guys are fucking super accurate. So yeah, if like they were a force that could conquer and subjugate the galaxy, like if they were actually a force that struck fear into the hearts of their enemies. What's crazy what is um, the opening of TFA has them doing something. That opening is fucking bullshit in terms of just like, <laughs> oh my god, this is so like, this is the content I want. First of all, you get stormtroopers that are scary, and they like, they wreck a village of people that almost seem like they're, they're not necessarily, it's, it's really unclear exactly what's going on, the, the Empire is just swarming through because they want something, which is just like, even scarier. Then the fact that one of the stormtroopers is killed, and then one of the other stormtroopers is like, oh no, my friend, like you've been shot, it's just like, whoa, this is... 
Oh my god, the potential. Then they, they dropped that quicker they than a sack of potatoes. He was a stormtrooper character for like the entire first film, and he was a a, a character we follow in the ranks of stormtroopers. <clears throat> Film. Oh my god. Uh, I Julius, was... Julius just said, uh, your problem with Modras kind of tis me, it's being there's that big of a deal. There's uh, the way it's uses though, it's a different story. The, the the problem is not that it was there, it's just bizarre that it was there because we've never seen it before. I think I'm that totally was fine idea. with them having. I've seen yeah, people yeah, yeah. say that like they shouldn't have mortars at all because it's not a future re weapon. I don't agree with that. I think it's fine that they have mortars. Yeah, um, yeah as Rex said, it's incredibly incredibly useful uh, piece of equipment. Yeah, well, I figured what everyone knew what mortars did. I, I was moving on to uh, just dropship stormtrooper lads. Like you know when they like run out of it. I I picture what? that there's a there's a turret at the back of these things and they bring them out slowly or whatever. But like I've never seen them use a mortar before, and it's just like wait what? There's a they have a fucking mortar, and then of course the episode tells us pretty soon after why they have a mortar. It could have um, just been. A I think this is I think this is partly the fault. I think it's partly the fault of them always being dumb. So well, if they yeah. were always competent, oh, the idea that they would have a mortar that they could deploy, because those would be pretty, probably pretty cheap, especially and effective. Mm -hmm. And if, if they were just a competent enemy force and they pull out a mortar, you're like, oh, this is a situation where they would use a mortar that they would have, so they would actually use it. And um, instead, it's like, no, well, they just want to loosen a boulder to have a boulder scene. Yeah, and and because of course the first thought you have is like, wait a minute, if we're talking about like the viability of them using. Not even what they could have, but what they actually have. It's like, why didn't they just shoot all of them with their orbital bombardment <laughs> systems? And it's like, because they're stupid. You're like, oh, right. Yeah, why didn't the dropships use their cannons? Because they're stupid. How come the orbital strike didn't hit the targets it needed to? Because they're stupid. Why do the stormtroopers literally let Finnick live after she was shooting all their men? Because they're stupid. <laughs> we don't want you. We want the child. <laughs> I actually hate that because and I know that you're not the child. I guess we'll kill you. Yeah. No, wait. What do you mean? The Empire have never done anything like that. They would never hurt someone who's not. They'd never blow up a planet. We talk, and we're talking about fucking. We're almost at first auditisms, right? Because, well, not necessarily almost, but at least we're oh, post. Oh man, I, I think that the stormtroopers in season two are worse. Oh, um, no, I wasn't saying. I, I what I'm trying to say is like they're even further away from oh. the Empire and the OT. If you know what I mean. Because they're uh they're post destruction or, or yeah or they're remnant forces. So you could argue yeah. they have even less standards when it comes to the the care in military sort of operations. Rather, they're just these um, people who you go go there and kill these people. We need the baby rather than we got I a planet to cleanse or something. I don't know. I think you could argue that they're all <laughs> veterans who have very good reasons for sticking around with who is very arguably the losing <laughs> side of this galactic conflict, and but they never explore that. Yeah, I was about to say, like, do you even do you even think that there's people in there? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's like, why why are you with the Empire? Like, is every single stormtrooper some weird ideologically driven super order over everything else weirdo? Um, well, how crazy would it be if Mando was a, a forty minute an episode show with twenty episodes, and the the you know the main character is Mando, but another main character is just a stormtrooper. Yeah, and they never run into each other until the very end, perhaps. And, yep. <clears throat> or just, I mean, a show that takes place after the Battle of Yavin, Death Star 2 gets destroyed, Emperor's dead. We assume our protagonists are a pair of stormtroopers who are dealing with the destruction of the Empire. They don't really know what to do. They scramble to get back to their commanding officers and rally up their squads, and they know that they're losing. And they have to deal with like, oh, do we desert? Do we like run? Like, what do we do? And they're being hunted down by rebels and other stuff like that. And they're fleeing for their lives. And they don't know what to do. They try to hide. Dude, imagine um, and, in his day to day, like our stormtrooper guy, he's like, you get a news feed for the for their organization of like different planets falling to shit. Like, and they, you know, this is just a, a, an example because it's in the show. But like, they find out that there was this. You know, town on Tatooine. That as soon as we lost control, they they fucking enslaved each other because the Empire wasn't there to keep them from uh, killing each other. Yeah. Essentially, what is this humpy shit? Like he's afraid oh, of being in the army because they've lost, and he's lost a lot of his friends in this fighting. But ideologically, he's like, man, look at what look at what's happening now that the rebels have kind of like won. The whole the whole galaxy is falling into disarray. Pirates and brigands and warlords are taking over. And is this you know? Is this what they wanted the whole time? You know, 
Yeah. What if he is an enlightened <laughs> centrist going, you know, I think the rebels and the empire just had some good points. And uh, honestly, I think... I would uh, want that character, though. I would. Yeah, just, I, I would as well. I want. I want them all. I want. I want the empire yeah, loyalists. A, the and it, yeah, uh, and a hardcore loyalist who starts to doubt his. Um, uh, okay. Hide it over this, and really, we just need to sit down and talk to each other. <laughs> Why can't he? Uh, oh, come. <clears throat> um and yeah, oh, and man. so. Jeez. Oh, oh, the show we just described is like where I'd like to start. It's like, oh, this looks like it would be really cool potential. It's going to take a lot of work, you know, blah, blah. But, like, Mando doesn't even scratch the surface. It's like, hey, Bill Boo was ex-Empire, and he was sad that his friends died. Yeah. Uh, and then, then he, he massacred everyone. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn it! At least he had a character to ruin. Dude, so many of the top comments on the Episode 7 coverage are just that, about Bill Boo. Because that's the big thing everybody... I noticed that. Uh, I was, noticed that. Everyone was talking about like how good that moment was when the episode first came out, and I think it's it's gone from like, oh, that moment was great, to fuck that moment. Because they, they, they just went back on it, kind of, in the episode. They wanted all of the reward for it without having to earn any of it. And then they wanted to have the fucking explosion oh, at the end of the episode, because you have to have an explosion at the end of the episode. Any other character do that, make that decision, and then Bill Burr could have got mad about it. And like actually have a character and there could be conflict in the story well, on. Think about that. You have the Rhydonium that's gonna be used potentially for evil doing, and someone's like, We gotta detonate the Rhydonium Rhydonium, who cares if it kills a couple of stormtroopers and then Bill Burke can be like, Fuck you, we'll have to we have to get yeah. rid of it some other way. Yeah, yeah, if he if he tries like even he might even be suspected of being a traitor and going against the plan because he seems to be against them killing stormtroopers and he's like, No no no, I gotta explain my my story and that sort of thing. And like, he's okay with killing a stormtrooper who's aiming a gun at him, kind of. Like, he's not okay with it, but he understands it's a necessary thing to do. Well, yeah, yeah you, but in this episode, would, he goes out of his way to kill uh, Imperials. Uh, I would say well, yeah, it would okay. almost be like we'd have to have that moment where he kills a stormtrooper because he has to. And he's just like, fuck. Yeah. That sounds so cool. Well, or, or he, <laughs> he's killing stormtroopers like for a while because they are aiming guns at him, will kill him otherwise. But like, there's a point where you realize throughout uh, in the course of the story that it's really weighing on him because he used to be one of those guys, and yeah, that well, um, not because he wanted to be, but just because it was the, you know the life he left lived, and it was yeah, something that was me a, once a necessity. Hell, if his old if his old commanding officer was there, maybe his fucking old squad is there too. Oh man, oh, man. Oh, that's the potential, well. the fucking potential, man. Oh. And so, yeah, someone just mentioned his acting. Because they put their helmets on. Someone just mentioned his acting. It's like, yeah, he's the best actor in all two seasons of Mandalorian uh, so far. He is the actor in all. He, he, <laughs> because he decided to act. It's like, yeah. Oh, good. It's one of these. I'm like, what about him? Shoot really hard. Yay. I love these ones. Because it's. You know, the controls are just so consistent in this game. Oh, I did it. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Bitching. I did a hole in one because I'm better than you. D -d 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 I did a hole in one as well. In two. Oh, in three. No. You did not. You don't have a single hole in one in this one. You lie. First, you talk about Israel, and then you say Yudin. I don't. I. I don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't get it. Um, Israel. <laughs> Kyle McCrory said Star Wars absolutely needs to wield build. It's like, oh, it needs to just write. It's not right anything. <laughs> All of it. Yeah, just it's, something. It needs our, our standards are so low. It needs characters, plots, world, and theme. It needs all oh, of them. So low, but still higher than the majority of people consuming Mandalorian. Wait, sorry, what did you say? Our standards are incredibly low, but still somehow higher than most of the people consuming Mandalorian. That's our sta true. Are our standards low? I don't know. I mean, for... I mean, yeah. just, to, just like a step one... Yeah, no, yeah, I agree with that. Like, yeah, what, it takes so little to impress us. And point. consistent character. Actually, just anything with like consistent character writing would probably be like yeah, at least the character writing is pretty good. Yeah, Lord. I feel like we would we would praise it at that point. We'd be like, man, look at that. <laughs> like, you know, the plot the plot really doesn't work. Um, like so long as it's not so long as it's not as conspicuous oh, as like Mando's plot is, where every time a stormtrooper appears, you're like, lol. Oh my wow, god, he's dying. But, um, like if the if the plot was just like pretty flawed, but you know, um, 
pretty flawed, but not so bad it's funny. Oh. And the character writing was pretty strong. We'd probably be like, yeah, it's, it's uh, cool. I mean, you know, it's really got its issues, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a huge step up. I was like, I remember, because when we watched the seasons of Fargo that we watched, they were, what, like six and seven? Six, yeah, sixes um, out of ten? The plots aren't too fantastic. The character work is really good in Fargo. Like, yeah, so I was like, man, I really liked watching that, and it was only like, uh, it's only like six out of ten. Yeah, but, uh, characters uh, go a fucking long way, which probably explains oh, yeah. why we're so, like, just oh, yeah. apathetic about Mando's character, because he doesn't have one. I honestly feel like character writing is way more important than to, to a lot of people than uh, pretty much any other aspect of uh I think it just writing. unlocks everything else almost uh, a lot like, of the time. If you, it's you, like if you, okay, if you were writing a series and like you have to intentionally abandon like world building, plot, uh character, you know, basically every aspect of storytelling except one. I'm picking yeah. I'm choose I'm keeping character, sorry. Like <laughs> Uh, especially because you know you can if you have consistent characters but the plot doesn't really matter then okay what you've got is probably a comedy right sure uh, a lot of the time can be is because it... um if we agree that like, plots plots will often be stronger if the characters are stronger because they're going to be defined by characters taking action right um yeah. but if we're talking strictly about Sort of external plots like, oh no, an alien's invading. Oh no, a bomb's gonna go off in the school. Oh, no. you know, like stuff like, like that. Because um, in like the character decisions are all solid, but the character like, you know, so let's say um, you've got a character who um, through and through. Oh, you understand piss off, you is. Fuck game. Um, you understand what the character's motivation is, and you know they would want to blow up. Yeah, well, the, the, an example would be um, Endgame, right? Like uh, both yeah, Iron but... Man and Black Widow in that f film, everything yeah. they choose to do is completely in line with them, but the plot in that film is fucking garbage. So, yeah, so in the same way, like, okay, if you had a character who's like, they absolutely would want to blow up the, the floor school, right? Um, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna use the, um, I'm gonna use the small hand grenade to blow up the entire building, and you're like, um, I don't think that would work. <laughs> but then um, they do it, and, it works, and you're like, well, that is what the character would do if, they, if that was a thing that's plausible. So I, I guess I you just think I get what call. you mean, but I would I would chisel that example because you're veering a little too close to that character must be really fucking stupid to believe. Well, no, that the grenade if, can if do it, it actually works, it's just like oh the well, show is stupid and doesn't understand well, how grenades work. I mean, at that point, I would be curious if it's some kind of <laughs> in-universe grenades just they just they just way bigger or something for some reason. But if they appeal to like here is a no, it's explicitly inconsistent they show a grenade earlier okay yeah, going yeah. in a building well wait again if it's explicitly inconsistent wouldn't it then be the character being stupid as well as the show being inconsistent oh, with the I, grenade? Know, I, feel like, I feel like if the show accepts that something is going to work it's not the character being stupid it is the show um not realizing that it's being inconsistent like if the character is makes a decision and is right and understand like I don't know, is it the character being stupid? Um, I, think they, uh... I think it might be both, because let's just say again, you show a bunch of grenades blown up and you're like, they're all normal, and then character is like, I'm gonna blow up this entire building with this one grenade. All of us would immediately be like, you can't do that with a grenade, why would they think you can do that with a grenade? And then the following scene, they are shown to do it with that grenade. I think our criticism might alter, we'd be like, so they could, and the character knew that, but that's not consistent with how grenades work in the world. So, you know... Yeah. Yeah. It's fun because, you know, it's sometimes hard to categorize exactly where the problem lies with some of these things. And that's how, that's how you destroy plot without destroying character, you know, because a plot is often very character driven. Yeah. And, uh, so, like, let's say you've got this, like, I don't know, uh, fucking crazy, intense religious guy who is all about respect for the Christian faith. And the, the plot starts because he. he pisses on Jesus is like on, on a crucifix or something I don't know and you're like I don't think he would do that and the show is like well that's why the plot happens at that point you've lost character and is it is it is it v intense Christians in the chat I know you're there how would it be how would it uh, how would pissing on a crucifix go would that just be like I don't know I it'd, guess, be, I guess it'd be more that. bizarre to me than anything else I'm not yeah, would it be bizarre or like actively offensive Probably both, but more bizarre than anything else. 
What if he what if he fucked I, himself up the ass with a crucifix? Which surely amounts who's doing it and why? Maybe he just really loves Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Take my piss, Jesus. No. <laughs> Metal say Merry Christmas, baby girl. Uh depends if it's on fire or not. Definitely offensive. Tame at this point. Too far even for me. Depends on the stream. Uh, I control the stream till Mola to sh so you can tell us a Christmas story. Merry <laughs> Christmas, everybody. We're here to piss on Jesus. Yeah, Merry Crumbo. Yeah. It's kind of fucked up because he's a baby, but you know. No, he's actually been dead for two thousand years, idiot. I mean, we're talking about like in the, the lore. Uh, let me just. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas, Moodle Boy. Merry Christmas. Uh, when's the hour again? I I don't know. Someday. When he fucking reads his DMs, he like reads them once per year. So. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, Jesus, read your DMs. The fuck? Uh, last All those prayers that you send to story, him. But the character work is what makes it so good. Uh, we have a piss on crucifix party every Wednesday. <laughs> uh, um, this day and day. It should be every Sunday. I'm not sure what Jay is getting at. Maybe you should listen to the words. I don't know. Also, Bounty's best thanks for the resub. Uh, our protestant wouldn't be too bothered by that blasphemy, but a pretty ir irreverent. Irreverent by Christian. Wait, standards. sorry. So the example was just in isolation. You watch a person piss on a crucifix in some show. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. So the example is like, okay, so a plot <laughs> being shitty without a character, that's some like without assassinating the characters, is something that can happen. But because plot is often so character driven, like let's say you had a really, really intensely religious character, and the plot starts because they piss on a crucifix, and just like there's no justification for it. That's just something they do. That's the plot being broken in a way that also breaks character. I, I, I'm a little lost on that. I don't even know. I'm trying to picture like... I know what you mean, Jay. The opening in... scene is the they piss on a crucifix? I don't know. That's why you, you're introduced to this character. You understand him. He's a really religious guy. And then uh, he just pisses on a crucifix. And you're like, hang on, why did he do that? And it's never really... And, the, and yeah, when a character makes a decision that is a against their motivations for the plot to happen, right? That's Oh, you're saying that that generates the plot somehow. Like the, like yeah. from that something happened. Okay. What happens for that um, plot. Yeah, that well, I think we would all question like, wait, why did he piss on the crucifix? Isn't he religious? He would never do that. Jay, you're going to hell. Um sure, I don't care. <laughs> did you piss on the crucifix, Jay? <laughs> no, I'm going to go together. <laughs> hey, Jay, this person saying you're going to go to a place that doesn't exist. How do you feel? Uh I, 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 well, I exist, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna go there. I don't know, Rex. You sure it doesn't exist? I've been to some Mandalorian comment sections that praise the show. It's, oh, it's pretty bad. Is, uh, maybe <laughs> it's pretty hell hellish. Is real. I don't know. Right maybe I'm, it's, I'm so close to it all the time. I just internalized it. Oh, as being... You need to start a channel on Pornhub. I'm not sure how that's relevant. <laughs> but, uh, they mentioned hell, Jay. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. I'm still not sure how that's relevant. Tom, thanks for the one euro. Fuck Jesus, what did he ever do for us, huh? He died for our sins, allegedly. My favorite part right now is reading the chat, not being so used ironically calling me a sinner. <laughs> James just said, stop pissing on my Jesus stick. <laughs> oh, well, you've Jesus seen the stick. comment section whenever we tell him that the god isn't real, so who fucking knows? <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe, maybe, maybe they're always... really just fucking I mean, butter. Stop, from stop in golf right now. Stop in golf. Wait, what? Right? Fall back to the bottom of the hill and just look look to the right. <laughs> Why is there? Oh, hey, Hagrid. Why is there this is a, just a Hagrid? Hagrid. <laughs> name of Hagrid. Judging us silently. Judging us. How did my ball jump? I'm very confused. Ah, <clears throat> oh, come. What happened to Pornhub? They had to delete like millions of videos or something. That's what I heard. I don't know. Oh, uh, exactly. yeah, they had, to, they had to do it to unverified. Okay, this map can go eat a dick. Why did they why did they do that? Uh they were unverified. I'm guessing because they when they haven't verified videos there could be anything in them and therefore it's risky like, right. legally to have anything up there that might be really, really bad. Yeah. Um <clears throat> Merry Christmas and happy birthday to Jesus, peace to the long men and the mandoids. Oh <laughs> shit. Are they called mandoids? Oh. The ones who like okay. red <laughs> This is actually, I've just realized, this entire map is like the arrival at Hogwarts. Okay. Oh, I guess it's a Harry Potter map then. I, I must have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up the first thing, so fuck it. 
This is a horrifying fucking first part. <laughs> I know, I can't do it. I'm missing the little bar. Yeah, there's no point in trying anymore. Three seconds left. No! Oh. Oh, uh, this one actually might have done it. Uh, the Japanese used to detect Catholic, Catholic, Catholics for ex execution by demanding people to s uh, stamp on an image of the Virgin Mary during the p their period of isolation. The plight of Japanese Christians during the isolation actually is really interesting period of time. I never heard about that. That's crazy. Was that was that Malfoy? That was Malfoy. Oh, that nice only B. Whoa! What the fuck? <clears throat> ah, okay. It's true uh, then. Harry Potter did, has come to Hogwarts. What did you all get for Christmas, you bastards? Harry uh, Potter has come in right. Hogwarts many times. So baking utensils. Oh, he, he lived there for like several months. Yeah, right. yeah, which is good because I needed it. I got an exercise bike for Christmas. Oh. Nice. Uh. <clears throat> did it come with training wheels? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to fall off it. Fair enough. I shall place. Oh, he can't After go the... under the fucking tables. Oh shit, what the hell? The Harry That's Plormper. Bullshit. That's bullshit! Wait, the yeah. tables are bullshit. to us. Damn. Uh, oh, I guess we need to go through this portal. Oh, what? Oh, that's a portal. Okay. Why didn't I go through the fucking portal? Oh my god, it's, it's witch hats. Ah, hats! <laughs> what the hell? Oh. oh my god. Oh, I get all oh, that. Cool. Oh, you know what? Yeah, so house your hall according to the house. That's pretty cool. I was gonna say we could play the fucking Lord of the Rings maps, but then I realized there's copyrighted music in them, so I, I don't know. Yeah. Mute the game. I guess I could mute the game, yeah. Can uh, I mute, wait, can I mute music it? only? That would be better. Uh, it de oh, that also depends if the file is registered as music in the. Uh... Oh, rather than sound effects, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, um, like because the we'll, we'll the file test it, I guess. It could be anything. It's probably worth seeing even if you don't have the music chat. So you'll you'll love it. We'll do the we'll do the all thank one. It's good. Is that Snape down there? Yeah, this is potions class. Oh my god, the potions. So what, does anyone remember the page number he tells you to turn into? Three. I went back up. Fuck you, game. <laughs> you went. How did you go? What the fuck is this shit? Yeah, oh. that that's the same thing that happened to me. Oh, you guys are really bad, huh? Oh yeah. Like I'm really good at Harry Potter. Oh, so. there we go. Cool. Dude. Hey, 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 guess, hey, chat. Harry Potter's not very good. Look at look at Snape's cape. That's why it's bad. Just as a series as a whole. Even for dominance, let it even be. I get to say this in this community because they have standards here. <laughs> not very good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we've said this again and again. If we were to rewatch Harry Potter, it could turn out that it's really bad, but I don't know yet. Um, so, like, oh my god, for sorry. example, the plot of um, okay, the characters are pretty solid for the most part, right? I, don't know. Um, I saw a video about how Ron Weasley was kind of assassinated. Oh yeah, well that's that's the adaptation argument though. So he, well no, no, no. well isn't he like retarded throughout? The... They do it in the show as well. Like he's a well, maybe he's just a retard. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm not, fucking, <laughs> I'm not invested in this. So I'm just like, I don't care. Well, they change him a lot to the uh, from the um, from the books to the films, giving a lot of his triumphant moments to Harry instead of uh, letting him keep them. Right? But Quidditch is hard. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, so, like, fans of Ron would be frustrated, but he's consistent with how Imagine they write him. Being in the a film. fan of Ron. <laughs> <laughs> well, like that's the thing. The films have probably given you that impression because in the in the books, no, he's, like, he's like, fucking like, ginger. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, racism. Uh, or gingerism, I guess. Gingerism. <laughs> ginger. So I came down this ramp that was longer, expecting it to be maybe Damn. Like easier because it's longer, but it's not. It's it's not easier. You... Oh, what is that sound? Someone coomed. Is that, is yeah, that they came sounds? down that ramp. What's the sound, sorry? I can hear sorry, Harry Potter sounds. Like someone talking. Harry know. Potter! Harry Potter so is dead. Uh, yeah. Oof, you're a wizard, Harry. And you're sorry. a Harry wizard. He's not, Hagrid's not a wizard. Is, oh, wait, can Hagrid cast spells? I can't remember. He can. Sort of. He's Some... got his umbrella. Yeah. Speaking um, of umbrella. Not as good as a wand, sure, but still pretty good. I always want. Do um do potions work for muggles or not? Muggles. Because like surely like if they, they do for muggles. Like surely, I mean, first of all, like Emmy Kate, Harry Potter's world building is pretty broken. Um, I could have sworn you were the one who said it was good the other day. Was it someone else? <clears throat> that that was someone. Okay, so like the I think the only thing that Harry Potter really has is character. I think it was Fringy that said Harry Potter has good world building. Did he? 
I think so. He might. Yeah, Either he might. that he had set it on good world building or that he liked the world. I, I... So in terms of like magic systems, plot, um, basically everything that isn't character, the show isn't very good at it. Oh my god, he's saying okay, troll okay, of the dungeon. Okay, okay, sorry, I, I should clarify, um, it builds the world no. quite well. Uh... Okay, so like it presents you, it is good at like communicating the world to you. Liar. But the world that communicates to you doesn't make any fucking sense. I I will believe that. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> um, I think and the, the uh, show oh I kill the troll. Think it actually work. I think it just goes over the fucking line of things that would fu be functional. Oh, you oh, it your... it with itself. Um, like <laughs> it, 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 it ignores all of all? the most interesting questions that might happen within the world. It kind of just ignores. Um, Do so, you like, appreciate okay. Myrtle? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Look at her. <laughs> Sight. So like potions, for example. Wait, what is happening? She's just wibbly wobbling down there. Uh, um, not on my screen. <laughs> oh, oh, she's go oh, she's 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 an obstacle. Yeah, she's a fucking money metal always getting in the way. <laughs> so um, as a fuck. Uh, as a fuck. As a fuck. I can't remember. I can't remember the point I was making about Harry, Harry Potter, Potter right now. Money. Well, I mean, like the plot is double though. So like. For example, the Tri Wizard Tournament plot um, has the. Uh, the potions? I don't know. Or okay, so, okay, the potions, right? Like, a really interesting uh, question that the series just avoids answering is like, what if a wizard actually tries to, like, benefit by going into Muggle society and secretly using magic? Or things well, that's like why that. All the time. Yeah, exactly. But, like,. At some point, you would assume that, like, people would actually figure out that shit's going down that's weird. Yeah, because all it takes is one wizard to Fuck to up. film yeah. themselves doing yeah. magic and everything. One wizard. And then, boom, you, the oh. jig is up. Wait, are you, are you saying, like, a, a wizard that's like, Fuck this, the humans need to know the truth, sort of thing? Yeah, okay, it, yeah. Takes, one, it takes one wizard to make that decision. Or to make the decision that, um... Okay, I, you know what? I'm gonna go and sell potions to muggles, saying that it's like, you know... Um, um, uh, special um, medicine or something, okay. and uh, I'm gonna make a fucking killing. Yeah. Is a wizard? Hmm? Is that is Alex Jones a wizard? <laughs> Check out Brain Force. Brain Force. Oh, dude! Imagine if soy was one of the major ingredients <laughs> in loads of Harry Potter potions. It's like you, you, it'll it'll make you taller, it'll make you stronger, but it's got soy in it. You're like, hmm. Oh. <laughs> Soy. Oh look, it's the Aragog. Um, uh, one of the reasons Ron and Hermione get together is because Ron saves Hermione. Fuck Harry Potter. As if I remember the fucking storyline of those movies right now. Yeah, the, the storyline of the Triwizard Tournament, for example, is that um, Voldemort tricks Harry into participating in the Triwizard Tournament. I mean, at the start of the film, you're introduced to the concept of a port key. Which is just a, an object. The one they use um, as demonstration at the beginning is a boot. Which, um, you, when you touch the boot, it takes you to a preset location that it's been enchanted with, right? Uh huh. Port key. So, um, yeah, port key. It, it takes you to the location when you touch it. Pretty simple. Um, seems like a really useful spell that you would see way more often in the world, but fuck it. Hey, because it's fucking teleportation um, at the touch of a. They do have yeah. other forms of teleportation in there. Oh, we're in the Chamber of Secrets now. Neat. Neat can, it, can it go below? Yeah, I can. Okay. So, um... Oh, also, this moment is fucking really lame. <laughs> His name is an anagram of I am Lord Voldemort. Yeah, that's did, did fucking... He, yeah. yeah. Did he plan that? <laughs> was that something he was motivated to do? Was he... Okay, this name I choose has to be an anagram of I am Lord and then well, the name. Can I... I've got these letters left to work with. I remember... <laughs> I remember thinking this in the fucking cinema when I saw this shit. Um, Tom, normal name. Surname Riddle, eh, a little bit weird, but I, I, I'm cool with that. Merv Mervolo, that's clearly because they're the letters you had left. Yes. <laughs> <There's no> other... <laughs> I just uh, like the idea she was left with like X Y Z Q Z. It's just like Tom <laughs> bleh, Riddle. Last <laughs> the but it is, it is, it is so like, okay, so either he planned this or it's a coincidence and Fuck both of those are hilariously stupid. 
Marvolo. Um, Marvolo. And it's like, it's not even plot significant, but it's so dumb that it like, it just pulls you out of the film or the book, I guess. I don't remember That's if it's actually awesome. in the book. Um, but it's like, it, it is just like fucking uh, Spider-Man taking off his leg and throwing it up at Dr. Octopus at the end of Spider-Man 2. Like, even if that ends up not even mattering in the next scene, like, he's got his leg back and none of it actually even happened. Oh my god, the mentors. It takes you out of it. It's like, what have I just seen? J help you the mentors. Try, hmm? Hmm? The mentors help. Oh, no. Uh, expecto Patronum. That's racism. <laughs> but then the uh, the Triwizard Tournament is um, the plot. Okay, you have port keys. They're in the thing in the world. Voldemort gets Harry to participate in a dangerous tournament, right? Where one of the events is fighting a dragon, essentially. Oh, not, not fighting, but surviving a dragon. Uh, one of the events is like surviving mer people underwater, which I think are, are really dangerous, if I recall. Yeah, yeah bit, they're um, even kind of scary. Then, um, what's the other event? Um, the maze? What was that oh yeah, the maze. That's the yeah. final event, which does have loads of like death traps in it. It could right? kind of just randomly suck you into it and you, you're out. Yeah, it doesn't seem very well balanced. Yeah, like I remember thinking like, how does this fucking work? Is this luck? Yeah, also, if you're on the, that mermaid challenge on the lake, what if you don't figure out the clue that you have to breathe underwater? Like, you're, you're just not even able to compete. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, 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 I guess a part that's part of the competition. Of the yeah, I guess. Well, that's fucking lame. Well, it's, 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 you don't well. solve the riddle, you can't even, like, do the challenge. Like, then, okay, uh, I guess. Then, okay, so... Stupid shadow Voldemort, thing. Voldemort tricks... Uh, Voldemort managed to get Harry's name pulled for the tournament, which apparently they can't override, which is pretty stupid, because... You're supposed to have to be 18 to compete in the tournament, but the Magic Cup said that Harry's competing. <laughs> the Magic Cup no said so. No one disagree with the Magic Cup. The Magic Cup said so. It's a goblet, it's not a cup. You didn't read the book. Uh, right. It's so, a goblet of fire. So, okay, okay. Um, so Voldemort's plan, though, is to get, is so that when Harry picks up the trophy, the trophy is actually a porky, which will take Harry to Voldemort. Because uh, Voldemort needs Harry for his resurrection, right? He needs Harry's blood or something. Wait, Jay, I can I pause yeah. you? I just want to pause you one sec. <laughs> if any of you have my stream up, that's a pretty cursed image to open the level on. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, I guess that's Harry, yeah. We're just, uh... Wait, let me see. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Please don't kill me, Harry. So, okay, carry on. Uh, yeah, so, um, the, 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 so he goes through this, these three, like, mortally dangerous challenges, right, that you have to be 18 to compete in, uh, that could absolutely have killed him. But Voldemort needs him, like, alive as well, that's important. Uh, or he, he literally can't resurrect himself. Uh, I well, that, wait, but uh, the, uh, how else the, could he possibly get him to him without going through the Triwizard Tournament to touch the Goblet so, of Fire that also happens to be a Porky? How could he possibly do it in any other way? They literally have made, uh, the, the Porky at the beginning that they use as an example is literally a shoe. They could literally have made Harry's shoes into a Porky. And when any touched, object that yeah. Harry's going to be touching. Any object that Harry might touch. Oh, we have to force him to go through this... Like, entire tournament for no yeah. reason. No. No reason. So that at the end of the story, he gets, uh... Harry like, got they... killed by the dragon, which is what would happen in real life, because it's a fucking dragon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember uh, the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that remember was... that those things, would, those kids would be fucking dead. Ah, oh, bullseye. Okay, so... Great plan, Voldemort. <laughs> Cool. I can see why you died. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the one that mentioned calling Mandalorians Mandoids, which is very disrespectful by the way, uh, ended with, and a baby Yoda was born, but Luke showing up in Mando did sh save the show, or saved the show, sorry. Posing essentially. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> yeah, the idea that Dude, uh, Luke showing up person. saved Mando as a show is just amusing to me. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, he fell. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Oh Fucking no, <laughs> Double Deck. He's got. Was he got shades on? Dunked on Dumbledore. Are those tears? Oh, they're like oh, little goals. A little, a little bit of oh, they are glasses. Okay. Did you get this one in Jay. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Crazy Coom. Coom. Oh my God, this map's yeah. so intense. I'm. I, I. I love that this map made it so that Jay just started shitting all over Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been listening because I don't know anything. I'm about paying, Harry atten paying attention, chat. <laughs> How are you doing on the Harry Potter front? Are you like... How, no, how do you feel on the HQ? Do you think that Jay's been unfair, fair, and how do you feel about Harry Potter as a series? Uh, the show specifically. Talk about books. Yeah. I mean, the uh, fucking yeah, the movies. Yeah. Them, it's it's already it's already being the Harry Potter yeah, movie. Every event, and yes, why didn't they just make Harry's next soup spoon a fucking port key? <laughs> <laughs> they make his underpants that, and he just teleports to Voldemort <laughs> just wearing those. He's like, oh, uh... Hey, what's up? Jay, what's the best Harry Potter movie? I always... Well, I, I can't really, like... I haven't done a strict evaluation of them all. These are just things, like... that are glaring issues, so I remember them. But, um... I always was quite partial to Chamber of Secrets. That's the one I would put on if I was going to watch a Harry Potter film. Like Harry Pooper. <laughs> I honestly don't even fucking remember like which one is the good one if there even is one. All was well. In the fuck am I looking at here? Whoa! No, wait. Oh, no, they I'll go that way. It was a trick. Oh, what? I went into the harder one and it's wait. Am I winning? What's happening? I went between them because I'm very big and smart. Booty. So well, I work for them. I love and Chamber of Secrets. I would push Harry down the stairs. Chambers is the <laughs> worst one. You want to see oh. movies, Hunger Games, and Harry Potter. Azkaban is best. Jay, what is your Hogwarts house? They all blend together uh, for Slytherin. me. Slytherin. Slytherin, lame. The correct mm. answers are Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. The thing is as well, that Harry Potter houses are based on personality traits. Um, so like, cunning is the Slytherin trait, and they're all they're all coming. like coming. Yeah, that's why I'm Slytherin. Uh, so it's uh, loyalty. Um, cunning. Uh, loyalty is is Hufflepuff. Cunning is Slytherin. Bravery is Gryffindor. Uh, uh, intelligence is Ravenclaw. Um, so I'm like, there are all these like I think other facts, but like here's the thing. Cool. You're you you if you're sorted into that house when you were eleven, you you might you might have like gone on like you might have grown as a person by the time you're like eighteen. No. Uh, your final year of school. Uh, so... <laughs> Imagine so Jay doesn't understand what the sorting hat does, which is to scan your brain and know exactly what you're going to be and are, and puts you in the correct house. Idiot. And, like, the, th the thing as well is, like, all Slytherins are treated as, like, just they are the evil ones, even by the seventh <sighs> girl when they're in their seventh year. And you're like, um, I feel like that's unfair. I feel like that's kind of bullshit. Oh, that that person added a correction. Luke didn't save the show, but it might have saved the franchise by undoing his character assassination. I think the sequels are done. That's <laughs> they still exist right now. <laughs> they yeah. st he's still heading there, even if you saw him kill the robots. Yeah, one time the fart might be funny. I couldn't make one with my hand. I'm very upset. It's See, a, it's a metaphor for how oppressive the school system is. It's is it. Oh, maybe. <laughs> House racism. I don't. I don't remember them ever like becoming like you know woke oh. to the house oh. being shit. I don't. I don't feel like that's Hogwarts is always Wait, portrayed as I recall is pretty good. Mel, ready up so I can. Uh... Thing. What? Maybe I'm misremembering. I oh, turn the music the off. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember the, the fucking. The oh, house oh, ever one. being yeah, ever being portrayed in anything other than the positive light. Hey chat, this is Lord of the Rings. Enjoy. It's really cool. Oh, now I'm gonna talk about how bad Lord of the Rings is. Oh my god! Right now, now you're pushing it. Okay, you're so, fucking okay, pushing it. Good scene where when Harry um, goes to Mount has, Doom. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, when Harry goes to Mount Doom with the Enterprise, and he says to Mount Sherlock, uh, "May the odds be ever in your favor." Uh, fucking... Vulcan. Par! No, I've already done Star Trek. I said he went there on the Enterprise. 
<clears throat> you just Star Trek twice. There's loads of loops. Right. You remember, remember like 2011 when those memes were popular for some reason? Oh, oh. Diego Hamm like said, uh, <sighs> did, did, did you all see Star Wars Theory's reaction to Mando episode 8 where he cried? No, no, no. Oh, no, yes. No, 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 no. We didn't see that, but I've heard about it. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just memeing. Uh, there, there may be an implication. <laughs> I mean, I have seen it, and it was the most pathetic thing I've ever witnessed in my fucking <laughs> life. Let's just say, let's just say there might be a hint of it in, uh... Are just, we just, flying? Just a hair of it in... Oh, yeah, oh. Th remember this? This is when the, the, the ants go cart into Lord of the Rings land. Oh my god, I can control my ball with W-A-S-D? What the fuck? Ah! Into... Uh, or oh, Why are you guys both ahead of me? Metal D even know the controls, and he's somehow ahead of me. Still, I was pressing W. Motherfucker is still playing the music. It really is tied to sound effects. No, wait, music Someone said he up. cries in every episode, and I'm prepared to believe that. Oh, no. Every episode? What, what did he oh, cry? Oh, dude, we need to check his reaction to Boba Fett. I want to see if he cried when Boba Fett shot his gun and fired out of his knee rockets. I want to see if he cried. Like, Boba, I'm so glad you made it! Like, they're long-lost friends or something. And I thought you're MIA in the war. I haven't seen you since <laughs> Kason. Can I just say that the combination of the words knee and rocket is just the fucking most hilarious thing ever? Yeah, okay, you well, like you it? know, that's because you're a dumbass and you don't know that knee rockets are actually really viable. <laughs> like is the, the portmanteau toes. What about toes? A portmanteau's? Toes. That man's is toes. Is a knee rocket viable uh, as a ball? Uh, yeah, as a balls. As a... Vagina lightsaber or a penis rapier? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Or uh, what about a an? <laughs> what about having armpit bar barbed wire, Molo? <laughs> um, it seems like it might backfire a little, but I don't know. I'm not an expert in armpit barbed wire. What about a taint pike? <laughs> a taint pike? <laughs> For some, taint I don't even pike. know if I find it funny, but I thought at first you said taint pipe. And I was like, what is a tanked pipe? <laughs> I don't like the sound of it. Also, yeah, I had to turn the music off. Just picture Lord of the Rings. Oh, chat, check this bit out. Check oh my out. god, it's, the eye is looking at Look at me. that shit, it's fucking soaring. Oh, oh god, oh god. Someone's asking if I'm in the stream. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what do they I mean in the I game? Here. I'm glad Rags isn't here. I hate that guy. Hey Mel, you, now you, I could now I could feel free to have all of my opinions without worrying about disagreeing with him. No, no, I've got to I've got to check the opinion sheet now that he isn't here to tell me which ones are okay. I've got to he check the references. Yeah, he left us one in case of his absence. Yeah, okay. The game is just making really fucking weird noises right now. Same for me. I played this map like three times before, so we shouldn't be doing that. Oh. Shame um, broke. I see. We might. I'm gonna restart oh, the map. What? I just got to Sauron. Yeah, but both Metal and I are getting really fucking lame noises. Yeah. Epic Isengard. Hopefully I don't see how that's my problem. Oh, uh, wait, did it freeze for me now? No, I restarted. It should push back to lobby. Yeah, the lobby is kind of frozen for me right now. So yeah, I guess um, well. hmm. <laughs> I guess Can you should... change the friction? <clears throat> change the friction? Whoa. Allow golf clubs? What happens if we don't allow golf clubs? Oh. Weird. Also, I can't change any of the options. I guess they're preset. Well, uh, the lobby has uh, redeemed itself. Um, <clears throat> like y'all stream for the holiday. I know, right? Uh, but yeah, I still think that uh, Luke turning up um, hasn't I wouldn't say it saved the franchise any more than it was never gonna die because people were gonna keep, you know, being cool with Star Wars anyway. I don't I don't even know what can kill Star Wars at this point. Ducky do I, I wonder how many TLJs they'd have to release before nobody goes to see it anymore. I know I'm gonna kill Star Wars. Huh? I'm 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 finding the weapon that will kill Star Wars right now. It is a <clears throat> Crotch chain gun. I I feel like that probably exists somewhere. I feel like there's probably a character in the world with a crotch chain gun. Well, there's a guy <laughs> with um like a 
He's like a revolver on his on his dick in um do, uh, uh fuck what's the film? Uh, Dust Till Dawn. That's it. That, that that you're thinking of Sex Machine. That's it. I like that character a lot. <laughs> Everyone likes that character a lot. Uh, Merry objectively best holiday moobs. Kick back and enjoy some Rhino Nog. Hell yeah. Rhino Nog yeah. all the way. <clears throat> Halloween is the objectively best holiday. Oh, well, you can still enjoy Rhino Nog on, uh, on, on Christmas, though. And Halloween, yeah, I guess. Rhino Nog. That's nah, just not true, though, is it? Rhino Nog. Some harsh truth here delivering the joke. Sorry. Uh, I got distracted. Th this one says, is Rags throwing a tantrum this time? When has Rags uh, ever thrown a tantrum? When have I thrown a tantrum? Maybe they Rags, don't know what a tantrum it. is. Stop yelling. Stop it, Rags. Stop. <gasps> hey, that's my meme. No, I'm stealing Poor it. Poor Jesse Collin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I popped in on, on, on Southpaw stream uh, for, for a little while. I think it was last night. Uh, Did he know? And he, yeah, he was reading comments of his video. And uh, I popped in, and a, a comment of Jesse popped up. <laughs> oh. And so I was like, "You wanna, you wanna read, read the comment of your mate there?" <laughs> it was funny. Stop it, Jesse! I can't Stop. use my hands to slap though, because I'm playing golf. Oh, oh, my camera! Fuck! Fuck! Rags is a good boy. Scratches his chin. Oh, there, there you go. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Yoda. But I'm sorry I ruined your stream. Lol, just kidding. Merry oh, yeah. best holiday best YouTuber. Wow, very kind. Have any of oh, you wa watched slash read Attack on Titan yet? No. If not, why uh, are you gay? I mean... I watched the first episode and got bored. Oh. I watched the first two seasons a long time ago and I don't remember a lot of it. It apparently has the raw seal of approval. I, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my God. I feel like... That that's either meaningless or like actively a bad thing to me. Like, you're saying that the god of the sun wouldn't have good taste. Yeah, he likes everything too bright and hot. Mm. <laughs> Mando doesn't earn any of its payoffs or stand up to scrutiny, but seeing Luke save the day was a payoff in itself. For what? What? Why? Uh, Explain. Is it just because you saw? Because you it's saw? Like payoff to the arc of Star Wars being terrible for so long. <laughs> like at least we got this. It's a payoff to the arc of the sequels. We finally oh, did it. Yeah. The redemption arc. It's, it's the arc of the sequels going. Uh, oh. Okay, oh fine, we it goes on to say Boba yeah. Fett too, to a lesser extent. Uh, why? How is that a payoff? He just showed up. He f showed up and shot a bunch of idiots. I don't... <laughs> why is this the standard? Uh, Moot, a lot of the rings has some genuine issues that make me think the films are overrated. <gasps> uh, what, for example? Just, uh, just a little. Oh, come! To, I, I don't know if we want to talk about this while Jay is here, if he ever wants to watch these, but. I mean, I haven't watched them in a while. I'll probably do a bad job of defending it, but uh, you guys have watched it not too long ago, I guess. I mean, there are... Oh, you fucking kidding me! If anything what? comes up. Did you see uh, that? <clears throat> did I see what? Um, I it's found a very inconvenient way, I'll just say. That's your fault, isn't it? Ross well, is some god. Technically, yes, yeah, it is. What was the point of the dubstep troopers? Just for Luke to destroy them all without trying? Yeah. Oh. Was that oh, confusing yeah. for you? <laughs> of course that was what it was. That's entirely... It worked. <clears throat> it worked so well. Have any oh. of you watched Donnie Darko? If so, opinions. I have not watched that show. I haven't no. seen it in two... Well, it's a movie, but I haven't seen it in ages. Idiot. They're gonna make a more diverse version called Devante Darko, and it's probably gonna be shit, and it's gonna ruin all the characters. But you know, it's a part of the course. Wait, wait, took it, took wait. I'm just saying, it's just a bunch of walking, walking things that make no reason and gay. Uh, right. I have an example for the issues. I, I, I'll just direct that to you two guys. Uh, because I haven't seen the movies in a long time. So when Aragorn is trapped. On the wall at Helm's Deep, and orcs are just rushing at him, and he is safe because the orcs raise a ladder on the inside of the wall and right next to a staircase. He grabs the ladder, swings down, and runs away to to live. That's just one example, but that's probably one of the strongest. That's one of the strongest. All right, yeah, these movies are great. <laughs> yeah, we'll be safe. Uh, I mean, I would have to like it's probably not so the, the best time. I'd need to see it, and then probably. 
read what they said again because I, I, to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not sure what the criticism was there. Yeah, is it like the idea that he couldn't survive in that situation, or it's not likely that he would survive? So from what I understand, kind it's of a beast. Because, uh, the the they they raised a ladder right next to him, and that was really lucky, I guess. Are you fucking kidding me? Yes. Actually, no. What the hell? Oh, I'm gonna cry. What the flu? Is it the little yeah. flu? Uh, you got a pre? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pre. <laughs> I wanna get you. I'm gonna get you banned from Twitch by preing on your stream. Sim. For preing. For preing. Why have you been banned? I pre too much. Why well, should I put showed you for JJ? You should have it's only three days. Well, that's what I heard what happened to some streamer. I don't know. <laughs> He preed on stream? No, I think some some uh, some streamer uh, flashed like fully on stream. I don't know what the context is, but apparently it was only a three day ban and the monetization was still there. And other people got uh, banned and demonetized forever for way less. Twitch. I only saw things on Twitter. I never re read up to it because frankly, I'm not that interested, but. You know. People will criticize the sequels and not apply their same metric to The Mandalorian because no one wants to hurt the sacred cow. Maybe Rags can teach us about the Moses story and the golden calf. <laughs> um, sure. So, <laughs> she so jabbed in the Moses a clam out full on. <laughs> so, the Moses story about the golden calf is... So, yeah, like, if I was going to criticize the Bible... God forbid. This would be one of those weird writing things that I'd probably God say you they should get that. rid of in the first draft. The Bible, the Bible according to God, right? So, Is that what you said? Okay. What's, what's that? What's that? Well, you said God forbid criticizing the Bible. I'm like, hey, he might actually forbid that. Yeah. Hey, hey. Well, I mean, he, yeah, he does kind of. Uh, but I got, in the Moses story, uh, after Moses leads the Hebrews out of Egypt, which never happened. Um. Mo they 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 walk around in the desert for 40 years even though it should take them like two weeks on foot but they walk around in the desert for 40 years right and shortly oh, after leaving egypt hard. all of the hebrews are they're getting a little they got some discontent they're they're not mm. going to they're not happy you know they just got released from their slavery they just witnessed the 10 plagues the fucking parting of the red sea the huge pillar of fire they witnessed some crazy shit some insane miracles and some crazy ass magic. All right. They Wait. witnessed all these and they get a little upset. They're, they're, they don't want to walk around in the desert anymore. They're just getting, there's a lot of discontent. So <laughs> while sight. Moses, while Moses is up on the, uh, the well, Moses goes up to the top of the hill. I forget which one it was. Uh, the hill. I, I forget what the name of the hill. It doesn't matter though. He goes up to the top oh, of the mountain to get the first set of the Ten Commandments, right? Mm. And when he comes back down, he notices that all the Hebrews, they have fashioned a golden calf and are worshipping it as their new god. Because the Hebrews are so fucking stupid <laughs> that after they, wit after they witnessed the ten fucking plagues of Egypt, the massive pillar of fire the parting of the Red Sea that all assists them in escaping slavery in Egypt, they're just like, yeah, well, we're just going to make a golden calf and it's going to be our new god. Because, like, what the fuck? How stupid do you have to be? It's kind of badly written, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, they get swallowed up. Damn. What are we getting the Bible yeah, they get like killed. God, like Moses, he, Moses is so infuriated at their incredible stupidity that they've just abandoned Jehovah and are now wor worshiping a new God that he smashes the first set of commandments down on the <laughs> ground. It's just a mess. It, he's upset. And then I think all the Israelites who worship the calf get like fucking swallowed up in fire or killed or something. Wait, so you're saying the people oh, who oh, like Mandalorian cool. are going to get swallowed up in some kind of... Hmm? The people who were like Mandalorian are gonna get swallowed up in Disney's new Star Wars world. So <laughs> the lesson we take from this. Someone said a person is intelligent. Yeah, people yeah. are dumb. No, it. no, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> that is like how <laughs> again you witness the ten plagues of Egypt, which are in fucking nuts. 
Then you got the huge ass pillar of fire. Oh my God. Then you've got the parting of the Red Sea at Moses' command through the Hebrew God, right? This dude who's getting you out of slavery, he parts a fucking ocean so you could walk across it, and then it swallows up the Pharaoh's chariots when they try to come and get you, right? And shortly afterwards, you're like, yeah, that, that was all, all right, I guess, but... We're, we're we're not too happy right now, so we're gonna fucking worship this. Well, golden okay, what's what's the calf do? What, what what's its powers? What can it do? It's cool. I, so does it shoot lasers? Someone said, "Pretty sure Joshua led the Hebrews into the Promised Land." <laughs> That's correct, because Moses never got to go into the Promised Land because I think the story goes that despite all the shit that Moses did, God's a prick, and Moses, when uh, they needed water. I think the Hebrew uh, the Hebrews needed water, uh, so God said to like strike a rock, and if you do that with your staff, water will come out, and that will give water to the Hebrews. Mm. And I, I think I think the story is that Moses like didn't believe it, or Moses had doubts about it, and so he like struck the rock in a way that like he was really unsure if it would actually happen, and because he doubted the Lord he was punished as he would never be able to visit. He'd never make it to the, the Holy Land, the Promised Land. Um, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's the uh, the story. I'm not sure about this part, though. So someone correct me if I'm wrong. Like, I someone can see said how... he should pray to the rock and he struck it. Okay, that, I gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Moses hit the rock for water when God told him to just speak to the rock. Now, and because Moses doubted, God, God said, oh yeah, well, fuck you, you <laughs> die before you ever get to the promised land, Damn which it. I think, I'm thinking is a little, you know, a little harsh, but God, fair God is enough. A petty little piece of shit. Dude, I, God is hilarious, whatever I hear about the God stories. is a fucking, the Bible is a, it is a long list of God's horrific failures to enact his ridiculous plan. He was for practicing that point, he didn't know. What was the story where he oh. lets, uh, so the, of his believers kill his own children and it's like yeah you be cooled out <laughs> someone said good god rags not a thing you said was accurate i think most of it was i think it was just said in an inflection that your bible school teacher didn't tell you Damn. so like the thing my favorite to be fair it's got to be in character with like a character someone who would um someone who would build an entire wor uh, universe of people and then insist that they worship him like yes. You're not getting a normal person out of that who has like a <laughs> oh, yeah, God is a like God is Batman a thing. Thing. jealous prick. Like Batman probably isn't that normal. When uh, that's what Fringy said, he's like really gonna look forward to in this the the Robert Pattinson one was the angle that he's a bit disturbed. Why have you gone immediately to Batman? Because <laughs> you reminded like me of it with the 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 that you wouldn't be a person like this without probably yeah. having something wrong. Not that like God and Batman are comparable because Batman's a good person. But like... someone, said, someone said God's poorly written. Is like, no, he's not poorly written. He's an excellent, consistently <laughs> well, evil and stupid character. I feel like he probably is in places, right? I've not, where he does, I've not where he's Bible. what? Where he's inconsistent <laughs> rather than. Yeah, well, yeah, well my um, my RE teacher uh, said about the whole incest was chill with with noah but isn't now and i said well, what what changed his mind she said he was just he just that uh, he changed his mind by the way god so. changed his mind about incest never changed his mind about slavery also anyone's welcome to be like that teacher's a dumbass it's like yeah that's fine but that's <laughs> still like <laughs> she did fucking i guess nobody told her what the, the actual answer to that is i have i need to make my 10 commandments just to see how they compare thou shall commit incest but not not Exclusively not incest. <laughs> Only in like this time that. zone. My chat is still talking about Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, the Bible. What is next? You can only fuck on February the 29th. <laughs> in fact, the next Super Chats is such a wholesome Christmas Coom stream, but Coom is spelled K-H-U-M with the, um, what are the little two dots above the U called? Umlau? An umlau? Right? An umlau? Remember when I... God destroyed Sodom just because they like butt stuff? <laughs> Man. <laughs> the fact that after God flooded the earth to repopulate the world, Noah's daughters get Noah drunk and rape him. <laughs> Dude, the fucking, like, this is, like, the stories of the Bible are nuts.
Yeah. If, if God is all powerful, why does he have to commit genocide to achieve anything? Or ha which time? Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, that's a, that's a good question. <laughs> did uh, did God want Russell Crowe to play Noah? Like y'all know the story of uh, uh, Alicia and the She Bears. Uh, like you know, genocide should probably be a last resort in most situations. I feel like. Yeah, uh, you're yeah. weak. You know, maybe. Maybe more like power the weak old yeah, man. All of you bad. Um, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, if that's the thing he resorts to, he's either immoral or stupid, because he can literally do anything he wants. Well, someone hasn't been so told. Not swallowed up in fire. Well, killed in some way, I think. So this is the story of Alicia and the She Bears, right? This is a great. This is one of my favorite Bible stories. She Bears. Okay. This is one. This is one that oddly I didn't see much of when I was a young one. Uh, <laughs> from there, wait. from there, Alicia went up to Bethel. As he was walking along the road, some boys came out of the town and jeered at him. "Get out of here, Baldy!" they said. "Get Aww. out of here, Baldy!" Oh, I know this story. He turned around, looked at them, and called down a curse on them in the name of the Lord. Then two bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the boys. Fuck. That's a slow start. There's just bears. Hey, man. Oh, God. This is fantastic. Like, the, holy wild, shit! It was a wild stream, dude. I love it. <laughs> oh, so yeah, don't fuck with Old Testament God. Well, you know, the really New Testament God, but don't something. fuck with Old Testament God. He will fuck you up. That <laughs> spelling of Coom, by the way, that's relevant to Lord of the Rings. Kaza Doom has the has the that spelling with with the with the the thing you said umlaut was it right? I think does it or does it not? Someone said, uh, "I feel like Rags is a little jaded because he found he actually had to earn his way to heaven." Because he's not a real doggo, therefore it's not an instant ticket. So, I was raised Catholic, and for the Catholics, you had to do good things to get into heaven. You couldn't just, you know, get dunked in some water and accept Jesus, and you're good forever. You had to actually, like, do good stuff. You had to be a good person. And this seems so reasonable to me, like, at the time. And then I learned that apparently a lot of other denominations were like, yeah, that's dumb. <laughs> you don't you don't earn your way into heaven like god's love is just a gift that he gives to you and as long as you accept him you're fucking set you don't have to earn your way into heaven and i'm like man that's i it's okay like that man seems pretty arbitrary um i feels that feels really unjust that if you have the right like because okay let's be honest if you get taught the right thing that's 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 uh that's what most people's uh most that's what determines most people's religion. Most people's religion is what they're taught. I'm so bright. There are people who convert, but uh, even then, you know, it's it's material they found, right? That appeals to them. Uh, why is why is that the uh, the deciding factor of whether or not you should have eternal happiness or eternal right eternal torture? <laughs> well, it depends on which uh, group you are. Like some uh, some Christians believe in annihilation. A lot of Christians don't even believe in hell. And then hmm. there's the one who, you know, then there's the torment hell. So it really depends on which, uh, which one you believe in. End. <laughs> Wait, what happened, Mel? Oh, you see the end, yeah. Hey, man. Boy. This is fucking, this is the best Lord of the Rings content you're going to be getting for a long time, considering. <laughs> yeah, the new show's going to come out and it's going to shit on everything. At least there will be terrible, terrible sex scenes in it. Oh yeah, that's yeah. We're gonna be getting yeah, sex scenes. I, yeah, you uh, gotta be. Yeah, you gotta be down with that. Which you know, maybe I just you just don't you don't associate sex scenes in Lord of the Rings, really, do you? It's just like, huh? Okay, all right. Will we get in the end sex scene? I'm just <laughs> oh, saying. We would. I want to see some seedlings. So is that hell is the world without bat women? I know. <laughs> I know. I agree. Hell is the world without bat women. <clears throat> uh, there Merry be, Christmas, there can... you beautiful massives. Merry Christmas. Oh my god, we're controlling the thing again. But this time we're flying! Oh. It's like a Boba Fett! Wait, what's happening to me? Oh, I'm safe. I'm not feeling this Christmas thing at all. Halloween really is the superior holiday. Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas. And a happy Halloween. <laughs> well, 
I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably one of the shittest Christmases in the history of Christmases. That's your like, for a you know, fuck like, load of people. Yeah, loads of loads of people are, aren't getting the family together this year, unfortunately. Since, since like probably mm. like a major war, this is one of the shittest Christmases for the world at large. Shitmases. Like, you know, I'm sure individual people have had shit Christmases in this, but uh. Like, Remember when God made Job's life as miserable as possible because he went on a bet with Satan? Yeah, that was great. Shouldn't bet with Satan. That was a great story. Forevermore. I don't know though, I'd like to visit the city of Dis once. <laughs> I had a roommate who hardcore belief tattooing fire or a snake on yourself is marrying you to the devil and martial arts is just summoning demons to take over your body. Damn. Take over your body. <clears throat> that sounds... fucking gangster. Wait, wait, wait. 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 How are you guys so far ahead of me? Like, I don't understand why you guys are. are You're really fast, bad though. at Lord of the Rings. <laughs> you are pretty bad at Lord of the Rings. I, I bet you me. don't even wear rings. <laughs> oh! Da -da -da -da. Merry Christmas, all from Florida Man. Wait, have I jumped ahead? Florida Man. Oh, it's Florida Man. He's famous. Florida Man. He's done some. He's done some crazy you can do it, shit. Jay. I believe in you. Yeah. Oh. One. My favorite oh, 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 oh. is the soft core erotica. That's kind of hot. I feel um, like it's, it, yeah, it goes past soft core at some points, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Search we'll your feelings. Right? You know you want to see knee rockets versus knee sabers in one of these ten billion Star Wars <laughs> shows. Hail the saber army, man! Didn't someone show us like a guy who had a an armor set in Star Wars that had like loads of lightsabers poking out of it. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> it, was, it was like loads of little oh, lightsabers. Oh yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. It had it was out of his arms and like his kneecaps and ah, oh, that's some edgy the hedgy shit, man. Oh, totally, that's... yeah. And, and oh, I, I think I if you had that suit, but with dark sabers though. Someone asked, does Shad believe Earth is six thousand years old? Good question. I don't fucking know. I think Shad was in chat. He yeah, can answer. Yeah. Christmas became shit when they removed the orgies and wine out of the lore. Worst retcon ever. <laughs> I, I, don't want an, I don't want an orgy on a holiday you spend with your family. I'm sorry. Wow. I actually subscribe to the Church of Last Thursdayism. Uh, <laughs> our, our tenets are that the Earth is actually, it was only created last Thursday, uh, but you were created with all of your memories intact and the appearance of hey, age. This could all be a simulation that started one second ago. Can you believe it? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, Right now, this can't be true, but uh, when you're thinking back on this memory, the world might not even have started yet. Oh, God. Now, as I'm saying this, the world might not have started yet, but uh, you, you in the future, I see you, thinking back on the memory of hearing this, the world has started for you now. When, uh, when this was happening, no world yet. Jeez. See, Christians don't believe in gen Genesis is actually accurate. Yeah, most most Christians do not believe it is a, a literal retelling. They is a figurative story meant to portray certain themes and values, etc. That it's uh, symbolic of a lot of stuff about the fall of man, etc. And the creation of the world. They don't actually think it's a uh, rightfully so. They don't think the Mumbler. Bible is a science sure. book. So <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, like in like Catholics, right? I was we we taught um, like evolution and all that stuff. Jake uh, in that sense, they were pretty progressive. Yeah. Jake calling this the worst Christmas because he stays away from hanging himself. Belch. <laughs> Don't do it, Jay. We need the rope. Don't do it, Jay. You have so much. You, you have so much to efap for. <laughs> Ew. Uh, Merry uh, happy massives. My Christmas Eve dinner just finished. Galathar came by. He makes a pretty good photographer. We're probably not getting our grandma back though. Rag should be proud. Oh, probably oh. thing. Oh, I see. Galathar took the grandma. Okay. See. Guess I'm going little, to this side of the world now. Skin sure. eater. Uh, oh, there is an eater. Someone said there's an ideology that you die every day and get reborn because you're always a slightly different person than the day they were before. Thoughts? Hmm. Uh, I've I mean, heard. That sounds like a... Man, the so heaven I've heard for that, that when your be brain stuff what happens to you anyway, right? Well, I've heard that when your brain enters like deep sleep. There's the idea that your consciousness like stops, and so you technically die in a way, and then you wake up as a new person with all the same memories, etc. I don't know. I'm not going to think about it too much. Um, but if I, I don't know, that's uh... like your episodic memory is the only thing that like 
is what makes you capable of a stream of consciousness, essentially, in the way that we understand it. So it's like... Do you say episodic memory? Yeah. What does that mean? Like memory of uh, events, then like orders that they happen and stuff. Like understanding that you exist in the world and it's progressing. Oh, okay. Rags needs to review Greek mythology next. Hell yeah, man. Greek mythology is fucking insane. Isn't Norse mythology funnier, though, with the horse? Yeah, some is. So, so it's fucking weird. But, like, all of them are super weird. We're just used to the Christian mythology. So it's like, it doesn't seem like it's as crazy as the other ones, but there's a lot of really crazy stuff. Are there dark troopers? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm I mean, there's interested. demons. There's demons, right? I mean, demons that, are pretty fucking cool, I'll say. Which is weird that there's demons running around. Am I destroying Jay and Golf? running around um, killing people. But yeah. I am- whoa, Jay, your score, holy shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're a little behind on, on the point. Oh yeah, well, I've I timed out on three holes and the maximum oh. is apparently 27, so... That's- that's why that happened. There's no other reason. No other reason. Uh, it's ironic that Christmas comes first for the Halloween fans, such is life. Huh? Oh, Christmas is great. Christmas comes first for the Halloween, but it's Christmas Halloween now. Comes Halloween comes first, and then Halloween Thanksgiving, and then... We've already had... What? I'm we, we, very confused We by did the, the Halloween word. one. It was really fun. We played Little Hope. Oh, I have to reset. <laughs> yeah, Aww, oh, Little Hope. Also, did we accidentally get some Mando Episode 8 footage in Drinker's review? Um, he asked... So, I think Drinker feels that the show is a mixed bag, and he wanted to show different reactions. Drinker is wrong. The show is horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to show the two types of reactions to the Luke scene, and so he was easy. It was easy for him to find reactions where people are crying and going nuts. But he was like, "Damn, Damn does anyone criticize it?" And he was like, "Mutually, can I have footage of you reacting to it?" And I was like, "Sure, buddy, <laughs> spread it far and wide." And then I saw, uh, we'll probably bring it up on like a future stream or whatever, but uh, there, there was just a comment that was like, Jesus Christ, the e EFAP crew is so pretentious. Do they enjoy anything? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> you reacted to go for the comment. I just. Comment? I'm I just sick like, of it. Such bullshit. You see Luke waving his little, his little pooty saber around, and they're just, just like, enjoy it. Enjoy it. You fuck. Like, Don't right, enjoy right. garbage. You I fuck. Hey, Luke took... and I joy you <laughs> when Luke took his hood off, I knew he was in character. <laughs> <laughs> Luke couldn't wear a hood for long. <laughs> for long. A hood. I, I wouldn't bring it up in like the video because I know that everyone would be fucking ass mad that I would. But uh, we we've talked about it. It's just like how dumb it is that he keeps the fucking hood on throughout his entire fight with the robots. Yes, yeah. it's very silly. But <clears throat> I actually kind of glad they made that decision instead of showing. His face that entire He's floopy. time. They could have just done it from behind the whole time, so you don't see his face. Yeah, they could have. Boy. They could have done a lot of things, really. Boy. Do -do -do -boy. Um, and Boy. like fake faces don't look that bad from a distance either. Uh, predictions for Wonder Woman 1948, 84 tomorrow. Bad. It's gonna be shit. Like the first one is shit. I don't think it's gonna have anything to do with the book. Guys, the first Wonder Woman is not okay. It's not good. It's terrible. Yes. Uh, we'll be watching it at some point, and we're going to release, like, Mulan, a double feature EFAP movies, Wonder Whamans. Oh, uh, come. It's going to be, uh, gonna be gonna <coughs> very interesting, I'd imagine. Oop. <coughs> um, I know that I won't see a coverage until next year, but did you see Fat Man yet? And if so, what are your thoughts? And hi, Rags, and Jay, Hello. and Mola, that's all. Hello. Uh, cool. Have we seen Fat Man? We've not, but um, it's the Mel Gibson being Santa movie, I think. Oh! Um, And you read the synopsis of it, and it sounds really funny, and yeah, we're, it we're very... It sound really funny. We I'd are watch interested it. in seeing it. Um, yeah, I'd yeah. watch it, definitely. You bet. Maybe we'll do e fat movies. Who knows? <laughs> are you coming? <laughs> not right now, no. Why not? Uh, yes. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Greetings.
Greetings mutually, hi Rags and Moodle and Jay. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Uh, the first EFAB thing I watched was Fellowship on Movies, and the weed allegory jokes made me cry laughing when I needed <laughs> it. So thanks, and anyway, guys. That's a good, good That was a good reference. Yeah, we, we had a I, couple I, of people I, um, I, fucking pissed that we were memeing on Lord of the Rings when that happened. <laughs> Um, and Wolf in the beginning of Two Towers recording says like, oh god, people might think we actually don't like these films, and I was I was so certain that that would never happen, but it did. People were like, wow, do you like really hate Lord of the Rings or something? It's like, oh. It's like, I, I wonder uh, how many people were reminded of, how many German <laughs> viewers were reminded of a lot of the wheat from back in the day when you did all the wheat jokes, because I was. Yeah, I, I was, remember you mentioning it, and I was just like, yeah. oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Some of the jokes were kind of similar. I was like, wow, that's actually fucking funny. Yeah. Oh, wait, is this another map? Or. Uh, Y'all logic mongers just can't let people have their emotional responses to loot, can you? So, what if it makes little to no sense? Let people enjoy the pretty lights. <laughs> uh, have you guys seen the trailer for Nobody? It looks like a fun movie. I don't know what that is. Oh, I see, I see some, some people. A lot of Elrond McBong. Yeah. Dude, look how fucking cool <laughs> Elrond this is. McBong. Oh, okay. So oh, yes. If I had seen Comet in Moominland, no. Though I probably will unironically start watching uh, Adventures in Moomin Valley because I saw I was randomly recommended one of the episodes from the show. I guess this was the '90s one. It was the second episode uh, about the magic hat, and <laughs> like I really liked it. the the cat the the characters had character, and they behave sort of logically, and the animation is charming, and the little dialogue that they have is just sweet, and the voice acting is really good and pleasant <laughs> to listen to. So I'm probably gonna actually go through Adventures in Moomin Valley, and apparently there's a new one that's like 3D. But I don't know. It depends on how I feel. If I just need more Moomin content after I finish the 90s series, I might fucking do it. Um, also, yeah, so this is Minds of Moria. It's fucking great. Mel, you, you'll, you'll love it even more. Poor Jay having to see Lord of the Rings things without understanding them, even though this is Fellowship, but still. I'm gonna go with you. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, get more Ragsless <clears throat> movies he thinks are very good, not just good, very good. Yeah. The weed covering. Doo -doo. Mary Crombodinantis, you large gaze. Merry Someone Christmas. said Rags watching anime. It's <laughs> is that anime really? Because it's draw. It, it has like a a Japanese esque art style, but it doesn't look like anime. You just sort of tell it has that style to it, and the way things are drawn and colored, and the way that. It's sort of set up aesthetically. Maybe that's why the but, person made Moomin just to get you to like anime. I don't know, but it's not. It, it sure as hell doesn't feel like an anime. It's, like the dialogue is good and it's fun to watch. So, um, join the Moomin Collective. Like, man, I'm kind of ready. I want more Moomin content. Just released a vid making wine from wild grapes and showing the process. Now I can get myself and friends drunk for chromosomus for free. Uh, have oh. yourselves a wonderful crumble tormsmus. That sounds uh, nifty. Making you too, yeah, that does wine, sound nifty. Stuff like that. Uh, Ever seen Sword of the Stranger? It has a rags in it. I've seen Sword of the Stranger. It was... Fine. I didn't hate it. It was alright. Sort of the stranger was all right. It was fine, but I have seen that. Merry I got Chris a couple songs on my uh, iTunes that I pulled from it, but yeah, it's all right. Uh, Merry Christmas, you massives! Hope you all enjoy the super holiday. Sorry, Mola, and high rags. I'm pro Christmas. Hello. I'm just more pro Halloween. Wait, Jay, where'd you go? I think I might sit out on this one. Wow. I've decided I can't be fucked. I'm gonna drink another Jay drink is taking the rags position on golf video games. No, he's not. He loves golf with friends, so it's half your position, kind of. Wait, Jay left because he's losing? Yep. Yeah. Rags needs to watch Avatar The Last Airbender. Why would I, when <laughs> what I've seen of it is terrible? 
Hey, Why would I? Why right? There are lots of really good shows that you can see excerpts of garbage from. True. TNG. Sure. Example of that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there are some bad TNG episodes. There are some total. Go- Have you seen TNG? I've seen a lot of it. I've seen like the first oh, fantastic. five seasons. Yeah. Oh, what's your favorite episode? I am ready. Ooh, I don't know. Uh why I'm all südlich der Grasplantage von Mittelerde. Maybe. Uh, I think because there's a bunch of good answers. I'll tell you, my, my, my go to, well, it's like cool. there are lots that I really like. My go to is Darmok. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I don't I think really it. I like that one a lot. Yeah, if you can buy into the ridiculous premise, it is a really good episode. Um, no, music, stop I'm it. Thinking... The premise. Huh? What we say is ridiculous about the premise. The, a like, species that speaks the in. Yeah, the, the language could operate <laughs> like that. Um, Dank it. I guess yeah, there is. Um, you would need an ability to say more, <laughs> some more sort of things than you have the ability to say in that language. Yeah, but I'll I'll accept the premise of the weird fucking language because the show and what happens in it and the character stuff with the alien captain and Picard and everyone else in the crew is so good. Le Capitane. Um, I feel like it would be more justified if the aliens were more alien than they appear, as in. Like they very much look, they very much resemble humans, but with a very, you know, clear difference in the way their society operates and that their language is really fucky. Um, like if they were, you know, equivalent to the arrival aliens, where we don't understand it, basically, you look at them and you don't understand any element of how their society operates, but you assume it just must do somehow, uh, and it's all entirely foreign to us. Wow, Mel, how do you not uh, get that right? I Wait, what? Like- I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Then that would be a massive improvement. Oh, it's the, oh, okay. I, <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is the one? I, Fair enough. I, I can't remember a lot of the names. There was one where Riker was disguised as an alien, as they oh, observed like that one. species. Yeah, uh, and they have like the hands what, what that I think it's called. Maybe. Yeah, but uh, I really like that one. But I, I I don't know what it's called. Um. Let's see. Uh, uh, my favorite. Just uh, there's a really neat line in that where. It's not even that neat. It's just like fun, where um, uh, one of the doctors oh. and it's like, see, I want I want guards stationed outside this room twenty seven hours a day, and you're like, oh, really <laughs> <fine>. what? <laughs> That's how I you like. Know they're serious. Um, I think it was called Yesterday's Enterprise. That's the one where they brought back um, Tasha Yar. Oh, that one's great. Yeah, because they kind of oh. they kind of fucked her over with that death, and that's fucking lame, and no one should oh. defend. That. Um, uh, how she just randomly gets killed by a tar monster just like that uh, that's fucking uh, lame spoilers yeah uh, so yeah this happens in the first season don't worry about it um, so they bring her back for like an alternate sort of universe thing that features her very prominently and that's really cool that they did that yeah. and I think it's almost well, like an apology they, episode for her they, uh, didn't they kill her off originally because they wanted uh, the actress wanted to leave the show yeah. yeah so that's how they chose to do it I honestly okay um, I feel like watching that happen, um, if I hadn't seen a lot of the show before, if I was watching this all as a new show and I saw a character just get killed off in the line of duty, uh, in what was in other, what, what is otherwise a normal episode, um, the knowledge that in, this is a world, this is a, a writing philosophy where characters can just get killed off in the, during the events of an episode it would make the stakes feel much more real for subsequent episodes. Yeah, but oh. they never really do that again, ever. Um, yeah, that's the issue. Yeah, and then, then you realize, oh, she just wanted off the show, so they just k- killed her. Oh, okay. Um, but if, oh, yeah, if they, they continue to do that, it would be, like, every episode would be, like, an edge-of-your-seat watch. I haven't seen, uh, I haven't watched every episode, but I did watch All Good Things, and mm-hmm. I really kind of like it. I think it's kind of nifty. All Good Things. That's the last episode. Oh, I've, I'm, I'm working my way through chronologically, so I've not, uh, I've not seen that yet. Well, how about uh, you watch Lord of the Rings, you fucking nerd? But, um... No, no, I'm, no, I'm confusing that. No, it's not All Good Things. I'm confusing that with... Wow. It's, it's, me. it's the Q episode where he goes through and he sees himself in, like, Starfleet Academy... And like it's about the choices that he makes. Q's there with him to kind of explore parts of his pet route, the Picard's past. 
<laughs> um, no, rat, no, 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 it wasn't. I, I, I thought it was that episode, but it wasn't. I just got the, I think I got the name wrong. No, I don't. I don't recall that. Is that in the first five seasons? Because I don't remember that. I think I went to season six. I remember that. I just remember it because a lot of the stuff I've watched out of order yeah. in one way or another. You just see one here and there and here and there. So, uh, who is your favorite character? And I'm just going to ask you choice. Favorite, favorite character, least favorite character, and I guess then we'll relinquish the conversation <laughs> back to everyone else. Favorite character. Um. <laughs> Whoa! Like, Your wall uh, just tears him the fuck out. <clears throat> I sort of uh. uh oh, that's maybe, bullshit. Forty is like a like like the kind of everyman normalish. He doesn't have like a strong character. He's just sort of a the the average oh, kind of guy. Really. Yeah, because he, I think he's he's really prominently used to be a like a conversational assistant to like especially data. Dude, I'm fine with him until he gets like romantic arcs, of which like um, are generally really weird and creepy. Um, I like data a lot, and I like Q a yeah, whole. Data is my 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 favorite of the whole show. Data might be my. <laughs> Um, Jordy, um, did, you, did you see the episode with uh, Jordy creating the simulation of the science woman he respects? Yeah, yeah. I really like that. Oh, 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 I don't, oh. I don't like Jordy in that episode very much. Oh no, sorry, not that episode. The um, the follow up episode on that where he actually meets her. Where he actually meets him. Uh, I think. I hope you guys enjoy this fucking Star Trek talk. I have no idea what they're talking about, but I know some of you like the show, so I hope this is worthwhile because I don't recognize any of the shit. You, you big old nerds. Psh, this isn't Lord of the Rings, Star Wars. What is happening? That she, her in real life won't act like her. She acted in the simulation that he made of her. Yeah. Where, then, um, yeah but she's she fucking married. Like, um, and then she ends up apologizing to him, if I recall correctly. And I'm like, okay, chill. Um, I, and I guess to, to wrap it up, for this because I'm I'm exhausting my memories of Star Trek because it's been so long since I've seen what I've seen was uh, Measure of a Man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can let me. Data's uh, the trial about whether Data's human or not. Oh, yeah, that one's beautiful. I'm just gonna at least, at least and, and, and Star Trek Discovery. The Federation makes a whole bunch of cyborg slaves. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, um, okay. Least favorite character. Least favorite character. I guess major character. Oh, what this goes up? The uh, Whoa! Yo, this is wild. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably, mm -hmm. probably Troy. Yes, correct answer. Well done. Okay. I was gonna say Wesley Crusher, Fuck. but then I realized how. Then I realized Troy is like actually <laughs> kind of. Mm, Wesley actually gets fucking development. Yeah. Troy is actually like Wesley is just like a kind of <clears throat> approaching Mary Sue, annoying little shit. Yeah. Whereas Troy is actively like she harms situation she's in, but doesn't realize it. She's she, not. She doesn't seem like she's fit for that position. No, not at all. She but actually, you okay. consider well, she's an empath. Yeah. We should do an EFAP miniseries on Star Trek. I yeah. wouldn't mind watching would, all the episodes with y'all. Yeah, I'd love to uh, TNG or Voyager. Or, yeah. yeah. So, unfortunately, I would like to um, continue this conversation, but it is 5.30 p.m. and I've been invited to a dinner. Mm. So, mm. I'm Bring me some. Make like a baby and head out. Make like uh, a baby. <laughs> I will... Okay, Blay Riggs. Yeah, I'll see Have you a good cribbers. Yeah, you too. I'll I'll probably see you late. I'll be back in a couple hours. So, yeah. Yeah. I will see you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Blah, 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 blah. Totally do. There we go. See you later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. For doing well, a, a, a a mini series on Star Trek would be um Rags9 knowing like the episodes could like choose 
just what the fuck is happening? middling ones and just keep in like i guess the really plot important ones i and would then, commit uh, to uh watching the whole thing oh really oh yeah i was gonna do it it's like seven seasons and they're like 20 episodes I oh, feel wait, wait, more wait, wait, wait. all of star trek isn't the same as like I would probably take them piece by piece, so I'd do all of the original series first, which is what, two seasons? Three seasons? Uh, yeah. I and, think then, and then sure. we'll move on from there, probably, you know? If we oh, were to I do it. Think... Calm down, okay. chat. <laughs> Calm down. I honestly think that um, it's just uh... worth starting with TNG, because it's the best one. But there's also chat, such a how do you feel about the idea that we skip the, the OT Star Trek entirely i want to see how they react to that come on chat react they were, I, yeah look just do tng 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 um watch tng i wrecked that bucket calm we're calm <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah og is okay someone said no skipping someone said og is bad hot take lots of people saying ds9 TNG, 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 TNG is the best Star Trek. What about DS, yeah? Buffy. <laughs> Buffy isn't Star Trek. Ruined my joke, thanks. What was, what was your joke? Sorry about all. I, I said, what about DS, yeah, instead of DS9. It was really funny, mm. but now it's not oh, anymore. Oh, I get it. Yeah. It was, it was a good joke. Thanks. I wish I'd heard it when you made it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like chat is pretty on board with uh, skipping. Damn. Original series. I don't know how I feel about that. Like that's pretty cringe. All well, of TNG it. Is the better series. Like. Well, that wasn't the question though. What do you mean? It wasn't whether or not it's better. It was whether or not oh. one should skip. Um, they're basically entirely separate shows. They just share a world. <clears throat> Like, there is very little uh, actual character crossover between the two. Um, no, OT Star Trek is best. Start with that. What about that guy? What about Diego? Um, yeah. Well, Diego, I feel like... Oh, no. A I feel like Diego. representing the popular opinion here. Oh. And I feel like the point of asking chat is get the, the popular opinion. You're wow. Opinion, but uh, I feel like you've lost the overall... The overall popular opinion vote, which is fine. Wait, why? Why did I get reset? What? Because you fucking. Oh, why did I get reset? Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, OT is a hundred years prior to TNG, so there's not much Whoa. character crossover. Well, you know, still. Come yum. Tiago says, "Jay, stop hurting my feelings." I'm sorry. Anyway. Uh. Ugh. Wait, 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 wait. Merry Christmas, you masses. Hope you enjoy the superior holiday. Sorry, Mola, and hi, Rags. That's why they said sorry, Mola, because, right, I think, I think, I think, I think I read that one out. But, um, I mean, superior holiday? I mean, I don't know. I mean, come on. I mean, there are a lot of people saying an OG show now. You know what? I'm going to make a straw poll and put it in the chat. Do it. No. Okay, fine. Um, Do Merry it. Christmas, everyone, and have a happy new year and to 2021, a better year for all and humanity. Hope. Fuck yeah, let's hope 2021 isn't anything like 2020. In My both... 2020 was pretty alright, to be honest. Fuck <laughs> you, Metal. Look at you. You're like, you're, you're capitalism, that's what you are. Yeah, fuck no. you, Metal. Oh, man. Beat capitalism by punching Metal. <laughs> no, stop. Punch me with money, though. <laughs> when is the part where you get to play as Abby playing golf with Joel? Merry Christmas, long man. They don't have that in this, because this game isn't trying to, to make you cry, which is pretty neat. If you want a good Last of Us 2, play God of War 2018, dab. Stop dabbing on my chat. Dab. Dab, yeah. dab, dab, dab. Chat run. They're dabbing. <laughs> There's too much dabbing. Uh, right, here, here it comes. The, the uh, poll is coming. Yeah, chat. it's coming. Right. <laughs> Fethel, horny. What? Oh, horny. It wasn't me. Um, so this says, mm. sit on my knee, comma. Grogu. I assume they're referring to Mando saying that to Grogu. That's a wholesome little super I was, just, I was just reading it back to make sure it didn't say book look in it. Mamlo, stop being bad. Question I'm about Bly. Was there a yes. good reason for them thinking the mud prints were from the kids? Their feet would be much smaller and wouldn't it have been happening since before they were born? Um, they went in that house before they were born, the kids, as far as I remember. Um, yes. It would have been Henry was in <clears> the, the house prior to that. He may have known about some footprint shenanigans. And I actually think 
it's not a huge issue. We, we, we have to have the characters believe that children could make those footprints. And um, I guess they have no reason to believe otherwise, because the children own up to it to a degree, and they're doing that to try and hide the ghostisms. But at the same time, I think you can kill two birds with one stone with this small fix. If you do, they're not feet prints, they're just bloomp prints. They're like, they're just, they're just bits of mud that you can tell some, they're in like foot, footprint frequency. Mm. Um, so that solves <clears throat> making it think that it could be kids doing it. And it also makes it a little oh, bit more like, <coughs> believable that it's just like, the idea that it comes down in a really like relatively perfect footprint every oh time God. is kind of strange, that's all. But it is a ghost doing oh. it, so. Oh, uh, uh, everyone, if you want to vote on the Star Trek series to watch first. In the chat, everyone, click the poll and tell us the truth. Well, this definitely 100%. Molly, you already promised that this will happen, right? Also, James says if I we need another promise. player, he would, uh, he would be free to join in if we know, even at this played point, it long anymore. I'm just uh, sort of showcasing maps while I'm... Uh, I'm looking to get to the end of the Super Chats and then just uh, end the stream, really. Yeah, I figured. I just wanted 40 to... minutes over my intended time, so that's terrible. Wow. That's Stop the count! Terrible. Um, boop, 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 boop. Oh my god. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah. Ah. Happy Squatmas, my N words. Thanks oh, for shit. some of my favorite R. things to listen to this year. Thanks to Mola Rags and the guests. Here's hoping 2021 brings many more videos. Also, hi, Rags. Ooh, woo. Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's hope it brings some good shit, and thank you for that. Uh,. <clears throat> <clears throat> I finished watching Buffy season six. Good tisms, fucking top tier tisms. That shit. Oh no, 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 no! You're gonna love season six of Buffy when you finally see it, Jay. Why not include the options for J.J. Abrams films? <clears throat> <laughs> oh, dude, if we actually went through like all of the Star Trek TV, I would actually be on board with starting to cover like the new era at Star Trek. Yeah, I mean. Because I'd, I'd yeah. be able to passionately argue why, like, they fucked Star Trek. Assuming, this is assumes I like Star Trek, you know? I don't know what'll happen. Maybe I won't like it. I assume you'll like Star Trek. It does sort of do the whole, Fook. like... It's sort of like, you know, what Star Wars would be if it had... if it, well, it was not, It's nothing like Star Wars, really, but it's like, you know, <laughs> imagine Star Wars was about mulling over ideas rather than combat. Blasters? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't so, have Luke Skywalker though. Um, it's you know more like not. Wait, interested. question, question. Would so people consider Star Trek to be quite ruined right now uh, in different ways? If the newest episode of Star Trek Discovery had blast doors open, loads of smoke happen, and then in comes Captain Picard with a giant gun and he shoots. No wait, a giant brain and he he argues why an alien <laughs> should stop killing people and he does it successfully. <laughs> Would they then like it? Well, uh... Dude, fuck this level, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, buy Wonderful 101 now. You but know what that is, right, now. <laughs> uh, I, I heard about it. I heard uh, that it's quite good, I think. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to see Picard <laughs> chopped out a bunch of light, uh, robots with a lightsaber. <laughs> Everyone's like, wait, what? Why? first has got 52% of the vote. Watch the what first? <sighs> Watch the originals first. It's got fifty-two percent of the vote. Are you upset about that, Jay? Yes, and, and I want to <laughs> apologize to Diego. <laughs> fair, that's fair. Uh, Last of Us Three looks great. Cool to see Abby's golf skills. Yeah. Also, Mel, you see that Balrog? Uh, I can't look up because then I'm under the map and I can't see it. I'm just reset. No. I can. Do the free view. Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, appreciate that fucking golf level Balrog, okay? Look at it. Golf Rog. <laughs> looks like he's... Like, the, the, the angle I have looks like he's pointing at his swoops like, Look, I'm a cool fire web! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, appreciate, mate. That's a uh, weird thing that happened in the poll, by the way, because it was going up very yeah. consistently. Because I posted it in the chat. Oh, fuck. I posted the poll in the chat, and it was going up very consistently with like 52 to 53 percent to um, skip to TNG, and then uh, watch originals first, losing just by a tiny amount. Right? Then mm -hmm. I posted in chat again after it rises, doing that consistently for a while, and I say in the stream, the poll is in chat if you want to vote, and then it immediately switches to like 52 percent towards uh, the originals. 
and it keeps and then it goes up consistently <clears throat> for uh, basically the same distribution but the other way so it must be like that must be like there must be a slant a slight slant in the kind of people who pay attention to chat and click the poll there towards TNG and a slight slant towards uh, original series for people who only listen to the podcast and will only click the poll if you, I point it out. You say all of this in aid of you trying to prove that we shouldn't watch the the original series. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm, I'm genuinely just interested in that. That's a weird discrepancy. You upset Diego and look like, what happened. People, yeah, who listen, asshole. people who listen to the uh, audio as the way to vote in the <sighs> poll, they care more about the originals. And people who are paying attention to chat want TNG. I wonder if that's because of like... Eat in the freezer, uh, some fish. Uh, I can give you some some chim nugs. I can have some chim nugs. <clears throat> uh, Bendor? Ew! What the fuck you do? Go away, Bender, you piece of shit. Wait, is this you, down you again? He faps down again. It, it's, I don't think it was ever up. <laughs> no, no, it's back up now. Is it, though? I mean, Mumbo Maybe. should be back. Maybe just playing some buffer thingies? No, wait. It's it is definitely up. definitely playing. Or is it? Oh no, you're right. I can hear I can hear myself talking. But Mola's circle is green on EFAP. That is so weird. So he's still frozen. His PC is still recording and broadcasting. This is this is mental. But, yeah, we can hear ourselves. <laughs> oh hello. Oh he's back. Oh my god, this um, is exciting. <laughs> OBS is like, you have dropped some frames. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> um so I will not load another map. <laughs> I guess because that was well. It's the game is frozen still. I don't even know how. I'm gonna say it. I don't think golf is very good. It literally <laughs> breaks the stream. Um, in fairness, I don't think it's the. I think it's my PC. No, uh... it's golf. golf. It fucking crashes all the time. Does it? Are you? Yeah. Me? <laughs> golf. It. You know this. You know how much. Um, when when <clears throat> you play golf it offline, you will often be like. Like, I, I, one of the last sessions we had, um, you got used to the fact that every time I tried to load into a game, the game would crash. Well, do you remember... Uh, uh, oh, that's yeah, true, yeah. For ages for it to work. Hmm? Do you remember um, when it crashed and it corrupted my Discord install? I don't remember that. I had to reinstall Discord after was removing that golf it. that Golfit that did that? Yeah. I, I remember that event. I didn't know that was Golfit. Mola, stop playing Golfit. Just well, play Golf. Friends, I'm sorry. Let's it's play, not worth it. Let's play not. Uh, is, well, golf is gone you... now. Oh, sorry. I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you can if you watch Futurama, it's actually funny. I s I've seen a bunch of Futurama, but never watched it all the way through. But yeah, it's 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 pretty fucking great. Oh, well, even Steam is for, like dead. Golf, what did you do? <laughs> pick, pick a new That's game. Good more. question. Hey, I'll I'll play Portal Two. I've been playing a little bit of that recently. Um. I just started up Dark Souls 3, because I still have the randomizer activated. Wait a minute. Wait, OBS is not moving. Uh, move a little. Well, the stream is up, fine. Uh, hmm. let's see. Need some sleep tips, see a Moodle. Alright, Spockmer, thanks for popping in. Uh, have a good sleep. Golf was the true Diego this whole time. I like that Diego is now the, the, the EFAP villain for chat. <laughs> For the first time, I saw the naked EFAP UI without the logo over the uh, the back of the screen. It's like seeing someone with a toenail being pulled. <laughs> I've shown that a whole bunch of times. It's disgusting, it's like I know. The, the, the dead... You have to see EFAP naked every once in a while, okay? Pulled toenail, that's what that is. Sure. You know what, for, for safety, right, I'm going to boot pull too, and I'm just going to try and get through the Super Chats so that I can try and... <laughs> End the stream, quote unquote, whatever that means uh, right now. Dark Souls 3 randomizer, and there you go. You would never end a stream with, uh, with, <clears throat> with unfinished things. Without what? What? With <clears throat> unfinished super chats. Oh, yeah, but I, I'm trying to avoid them. Oh, I just changed the film lighting. Thanks, man. Chat, yeah. what's your idea? My, 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 my randomizer character. That's for both chats, by the way. Where's, um, where's Portal 2? Where are you? Posh bum, thanks for the one, two, three, four, five, five hundred bits. I can count still. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, we got 
Okay, let's see. Uh, Herb, you're gay. Metal stream is too gay. Wow, that's that's racism. Uh, we have Venus, Bilfus, Joel, Florbus, Moodlo, Flubbers, Deboot, Diego, Squad, Chum, OBS, The Destroyer, <laughs> Ryan Johnson, Spanky, Bit Bengus, Jeb Bush, Yumblemon. We have two Diegos. Uh, Bill Burr. <laughs> Bill Burr Baggins. Call him Coom with an umlaut. Bill Burr Baggins. Diego, Demos. Okay, we have three Diegos, so this, this guy's gonna be Diego. Uh, or not. Let me, let me type, thank you. Diego. Uh, I know, Knight's randomizer, I don't even know what I get. Be a real gift. Uh, it doesn't skinny. show up, like, Portal 2 isn't showing up as, like, a, a thing that exists. That's weird. That's, that's a shame. You think that, <clears throat> um, if you got, like, like boob implants, you could get, like, okay, obviously they're gonna be, like, silicon on the outside, but do you think on the inside you could get, like, like bits? Uh, you could get, like, a hard drive and you could store some files in there? Yes. Uh, is this the world that Cyberpunk wants? Dark Souls 3 Zero Death, death Run Go? Oh no. Ooh. Maybe if I go. Because I'm on borderless, maybe full screen will do it. Uh, I have to randomize it to activate. Flank Shield? No, I think this isn't normal. Hang on. I might have to restart. Start the game. Yo, OBS. This is clearly a full screen application. Hey, there you go. Hey, ho, hey, OBS. What's up? Okay. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so, should be. Should Shut be. Some, there's randomizer. We gotta Wait, like what? deal with this for a while because uh, I, I I don't know what else to do and I'm almost, I'm still worried that this whole stream fucking still exists. I guess it does because you're all commenting on it. So. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play this video game and you know what if it doesn't maintain its on-screen presence that's fine we're just gonna have to uh you just gonna have to deal with that I might even just put the cover up and you'll just hear portal noises <laughs> if that that's good enough and then uh, uh, shit. yeah so I'm just gonna read through these in a timely fashion um I just don't know if this is randomized right now uh it's crazy it? how much that Abby Shapiro looks like Ben Shapiro. Genetics, man. <laughs> Genortics. Oh, gotcha. It's like, does that explain it? You're like, yes. I mean, most siblings don't much look that much alike. Unless they're like identical twins. Don't Listen worry. to game, James Mortal. Game is not frozen. It's just me tabbing out of it for a second, okay? Uh, Blue Shield was supposed to be there. It is random. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Molo, turn off cloud save synchronization for the game in order to avoid this shit in the future. Oh, okay. Do you really think that's the problem? I I, I don't know anything else, so I'm just going with that. Are they tweet? like a golf it type person? Who who is this a common golf it thing? I don't know. What is this tweet, dude? Like this. This, uh, is, the weird... this, game map. So this is the weirdest presentation of a tweet I've ever seen. Oh, sorry, the weirdest presentation of a meme I've ever seen. I can't put that on screen, why would you do this, Jay? I don't... It's like such a normie meme. I mean, Post it into Mel's chat so people can see what you're talking about, I guess. Oh, or my just, chat. I mean, I'll just, I mean, I can describe it. It's not particularly complex. It's the Bernie meme. <laughs> I am once again asking, and it says, I am once again asking for you to return my texts, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty normie meme. And Habby Shapiro has posted it with... has tweeted it out. As its own thing, with uh, the caption, yeah, if you have a friend who is bad at texting, I hereby provide you with the perfect meme to call them out. You're welcome. Whoa. I'm like, I'm just baffled by that. Why, why present a meme like that? It's just like, <laughs> you may as well just, you know, like post a meme that's like, you know, when your food is too hot and it's like someone saying, oh, this food is too hot. And then you tweet it out with the caption. I found the perfect meme that you can post when your food is too hot. It's it's very where's, strange. Where's the lie, Jay? New create custom list. No. Where is the lie? 
Um, Let's see what people quote tweeted this with. Alright. If the guy Mando was dumb enough to fight a Mandalorian, he must have been dumb enough to punch him three times. Debunked, <laughs> ya mooly. Um, I guess the guy was really dumb. I agree. That answers the question. All of the questions, actually. Uh, Arkan, thanks for gifting us up. Certified trap, seven days of fap, milk house, okay. massive, make those warmongers passive, high rags, high J, hello mola, high metal. Oh, hello. Right there. Lost for three looks great. Oh, wait, I read that one. It was weird seeing Boba get manhandled the same episode they tease his new show. Um, I am fine. I've, I have think this was happening on the Discord. <clears throat> I, I, I remember saying, like, I don't mind Boba being defeated. Um, or even contested for a victory by somebody. I just wish they didn't do it in a way that just had me wondering what the fuck's going on. Like, how is this lady able to to pull this guy that way? Um, the part where she, like, flies above him and then uses the leverage to flip him over, like, I guess that's fine. But um, the initial just just tug of war, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how it works. But uh, he couldn't pull her, but she was able to pull him. I just don't think that she's stronger than him, that's all. Um, but he still did cool things, quote unquote. So you should be very happy. He, he shot Bib Fortuna and he sat on Jabba's throne. How fucking cool is that? Cyberpunk is a failed abortion. Does that mean it's a healthy living child? <laughs> Something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you it needs seemed... to be specific. Uh, but yeah, it would have been cool to have a fight where she, like, just did a bit of outskilling. Like, he outskills her, she outskills him, and then they draw. Rather, they did this fucking weird shit. Where she just yanks him for some reason, and then they also use their fire on each other that somehow... That bit's funny. I'm gonna give it to him. That was funny. Mm, come on, game. Um... But I'll agree it was weird. Uh, I could see why you'd think it was weird that they would do that and then be like, Boba is really awesome, by the way. You're like, okay. Uh, Jay, look out, it's a Shakespeare play and they're speaking in a manner modern times find weird. It must be bad, run. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, hopefully Jay comes back so I can uh, read that out. J Jay will have spicy responses for that, I'm sure. Spicy. Spicy. If you rub out a... I don't know what that emote is. Banana, maybe? Um, I unfortunately can't tell you, because I can't see! Into your own mouth while looking at a picture of another man's money. That equals all seven sins and a family emergency. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess they were trying to think of how to how to breach all seven sins the fastest way. Mm. Pretty impressive. Hey, people! Did you guys happen... Uh, Happened the KFC mm. console? Do you think it's real or fake? So, Rags brought it up to me and I was like, okay, that's gotta be fake, right? Um, but then I looked into this, the news portion of Google for this KFC console and apparently it's real. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't it have like a chicken warmer or something? Well, I mean, it's a KFC console, so. Fair. <laughs> Questioning why they would have that. You nuts. I don't think the randomizer is working. Randomizer? Jay. Yeah, dogs was there, was, there was a thing for you. What? Um, it says, Jay, look out. It's a Shakespeare play, and oh, they're speaking in a manner it. modern times find weird. It must be bad. Run. Oh, 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 yeah. good, good one. Um, yeah, so, uh, the, the thing about the Spider-Man dialogue is that, that that was never, never, like, uh, good. Um, okay, moving on. <laughs> so... <laughs> Happy Nailed Christmas, it. Smaller. <clears throat> oh, merry everything, yeah. Uh -oh. I'm going to play Dark Souls 1 Remaster now, you did this, Moodle. That's okay. Happy play, Christmas. Happy merry. Happy Krabobulums. <gasps> Meat Cleaver? Is that one supposed to be here? I don't think so. Happy Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas in the old British tourisms right now. Liar. <clears throat> merry Crimbo, you massives. Mary Whoa. Crimbo. Language. Um, why do they call it in oven when you out of in cold food of out hot eat the food? Yes. I'll try that one more time just to make sure I got this. <laughs> why do they call it oven when you of in 
the cold food and of out hot eat the food. What? I don't know. Oh, Maybe no, if I take another zip of my drink, it makes more sense. Very intense message, you know. Uh, of course this I return really to the office though. to work on Christmas Eve and there's an EFAP. In case trainee status doesn't save me, Merry Christmas, Massives. Merry Christmas. Uh, I watched Seven Psychopaths recently and thoroughly enjoyed it. It was funny and the acting was great. That is a great movie, indeed. Great Fantastic. movie. The dialogue is really good in it. It really is. Liar. Wait, Jay, you were lying? Uh, no. But Mel said you were. Liar. Lying? He did it again. Don't listen to him. Well, oh Mel is lying. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. How dare you? Who am I to believe? Uh, shoot, shoot, Metal. I'm the real one. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what's, uh, what's the fucking show? There's that joke I've seen. Is it, does Rick and Morty do that joke at some point? Well, it's like, shoot, Simpsons does it. God, I can't remember if it's a show or a movie, but they do that trope, but it's really fucking funny. And I can't remember the joke or the, the context, but it's really good. Do you, do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Done a joke about that, that trope. I think, it, yeah, it could be, it could be Futurama. Gravity Falls does it, but it's not yeah, particularly splatter. good in Gravity like Falls. Bucket. It's like, it's a, it is, in Gravity Falls, not a joke, it is just the trope in Gravity Falls, but they execute it fine. It's just like, oh, I've seen that a lot before. Um, I'm pretty sure the randomizer really isn't working. I need to get it run for tomorrow. I don't know. To work. A couple people referencing Family Guy might have done it. Yeah, it could have been. I just remember there's a there's a version of it that I found funny as hell, but I can't remember what it is now. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like I think it's like it's completely inappropriate or something, and that's the joke. Like like there is no reason to say that, but they say it anyway. I can't what? remember. So it's like someone blurts. I think they do do it in Family Guy. And like. We blurt something at completely inappropriate, and that's how they know it's the real oh, Peter or whatever. Slot. Do you remember they do the... it in Red Dwarf? You've not seen yeah. Red Dwarf. I have not. But they do it in Red you... Dwarf, and it's good in Red Dwarf. Do you remember it's Futurama's that... joke for the um, the oh is she behind me joke? Um, it's no. um, God, my for, I I love Futurama apparently. So Morgan Proctor is the replacement for Hermes Conrad in uh an episode because he's not efficient fizz. enough. You don't have to read right. out what you're typing, Mel, it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> she, she, she comes in and uh, she's like an uptight asshole about everything, but uh, she loves having sex with Fry, and so Fry finds it really difficult to be on the team of Leela and Bender who hate her. Um, right. And there's this scene where Bender's shitting on her for ages, and then Fry and Leela both look like, oh no, sort of faces. And Bender puts his arms behind him and goes, no, is she behind me? And then she just goes, no, I'm in front of you. And he goes, hey! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this is not, and, uh, randomizer is not working. In Red Dwarf, when they do it, it's actually really fucking fun. It, it's not a, it's not even, I mean, Red Dwarf is a comedy show and there are loads of jokes in it, but it's not explicitly a joke about the trope. Um, it's funny, but it's like the trope is actually the plot of the episode and they resort a lot of time, I think, to uh, figuring out who the real one actually is. Uh, they actually have to figure out the rules of the duplicate and what it would and wouldn't be able to duplicate. And it's, uh, I mean, I guess it's not a major spoiler. I guess I'd give this one. Uh, it's uh, the, the punchline is essentially um, the duplicate ends up being um, lifted from the character Lister's own perception of himself. Um, so they find, um, so it, it's it's like it's list, it's made from Lister's memories of himself. So they end up finding an area in which Lister completely overestimates his own skills, and have the and have them both attempt it, and they kill the one that's actually good at it. And it's like, hey, that's cool. That's neat. That actually works. Yeah, that sounds. Red Dwarf is a good show. I, I'm sure it is. That I've only ever heard good things about it. I didn't. Uh, well, season you eleven didn't. is just really pointless, and there's like, that's you just true. watch the entire you're thing, and you're like, I'm not sure there were any jokes in there, and it's a comedy, but uh, which, the rest is good. So I'm not sure what happened on season eleven. Hmm? Nothing. Um, I love Harry Potter, but yeah, a lot of the time. Oh, really I, heard, I, heard, I just heard that. Well wrong. done. 
The correct answer um, is no you would have just just no heard that, that in, re re in reference to Harry Potter a while ago. I don't know what you mean. We haven't talked about Harry Potter for ages. There are no jokes in Harry Potter. <gasps> True. Sequels still exist, but Not none of the new shows are really focused on Ray, Finn, Poe. I think Luke and Mando made them realize what the right course is. <sighs> right course. <clears throat> I guess by right you mean safest and also best to please the fans, I suppose. I'm sure they'll just fucking recast. There's no way they're gonna do an entire show with that face. You think? I, are they gonna are they gonna do the meme and get Sebastian Stan? I think they should. I mean, he does look a lot like him. Are there any S tier Star Wars characters anymore besides Bill Burr? He's not S tier. He's just not terrible. <laughs> yeah. Well, they assassinated him in his own episodes. Like. <laughs> <laughs> He's the they, only they, character in the assassinated. Yeah. I promise, I promise. Well, they assassinated him twice as well because he's completely different character when he comes back from how he. I, well, I, I say that authoritatively. I haven't seen the original episodes. Um, but. Oh shit, this is not a bonfire. Dang it. From my impression as to, in his return. Is that fair, Mola? He's a completely different character when he returns compared to how he is originally? I think so. I don't think it's justified at all that he's. Uh... Uh, I think a lot of people would try and cite, oh, well, he's been in prison for a while now, so he's different. I'd be like, eh, fuck that. He so he's like, the only character, and he's assassinated If you can him tell twice. me how long he's been... Oh, sorry, okay. They assassinated yeah. him twice. They, they also... give him a completely different new character, and then they yeah. assassinate that. He just doesn't... This is the thing. Like, Bill Burr just isn't playing the same guy. Like, it seems like he's just a different... The, the, the idea being, and this is obviously me speculating, they were like, let's get Bill Burr back, because fucking Bill Burr, he's Bill Burr, he's awesome. What do you want to do in the episode? Have Fuck. him do this, 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 and we will need him to be like this, 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 this. And then you're like, oh, but in, in his first episode, he was kind of like a one-dimensional ass. And he's like, eh, eh, eh. Like, um, so they, they kind of assassinated him twice. Do you think in his next appearance, he's going to be assassinated about how three he, times? Like, he just hates explosions, and he would never deliberately cause an explosion because he hates <laughs> explosions so much. I hate explosions. He would not not only he he would never go near explosives. He just hates ex he hates explosions. It's he has PTSD from killing all the all the stormtroopers. No 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 no. He's he had just... this since before that. This is his whole life. We have to assassinate oh, oh. his character again. Uh, okay, That's the sorry. point. He yeah. has to be a different this character for no reason. Who really contradicts like the character he's been previously? Wait, someone said the game is a wee bit loud. I can't. I can barely hear it myself. But I guess I'll put it to really low. You playing Portal Two again? Again? Yeah. I never play this on stream, so I. Well, take because you have, with... but you have played it before, haven't you? Oh yeah, and Portal Two's fucking yeah. great. <clears throat> Hopefully, that's not too loud now, chatteroos. I can't hear you. Um, what? Huh? <laughs> Love you guys. Keep up the great work. Cyberpunk what? 2077 is a 6 out of 10. If they fix the bugs in gameplay and get some great DLC, it could be a 7.5 or 8. High rags. I mean, yeah. What? Uh, we hope for the best. <laughs> That's way, way quiet. Sounds fine to me. Oh my god! I hate you guys. Chat, I trusted you. Look what you've done. Alright, that's oh all I'm getting, you, okay? It could be good. What? The volume sliders and shit on OBS are actually missing for me. Like, they're not there right now, and I think it's to do with <laughs> everything fucking getting balked. So, like I said, just trying to get golf. through these as it's quick as possible to make sure this stream actually lives. Uh, just finished The Last of Us 2 playthrough videos and subsequent EFAPs, all highly entertaining and informative. Would the story have been any better if it was connected at all to the original IP? It is connected to the original IP. That's the problem. <laughs> If it were on its own, we'd be okay with it. Uh, I guess by that, do they mean what the original is point is, or what the original is going for, rather than? Is there, a, is there an original that The Last of Us is based on? Is it like a game based on comics or something? Not to my knowledge, I think it's entirely original as, as far as I was aware. But um, honestly, they can do whatever crazy subversive shit they want to do if they just have someone who can write on the team. That would be great. Yeah. So if they. So they I mean, like, the Red Wedding is the go-to example for this kind of thing, right? Oh, yeah, so I mean, it's like, on paper, sounds like it would piss everyone off, but if you really justify and write well, it's like, oh, man, 
That's good. It's like it's it's justified within the story. I'm like, you know what? It could piss people off. That'd be fine. But if it's justified within the story, okay. Just realize I can't jump down here without dying. And it, it's not it's Fuck. not like it's an insult to everything. I mean, uh, the same way that like YOLO. I mean, there are nope, some sort no of like. Chance. Okay. They're not really rules about consistency, <laughs> so to speak, but they are just sort of things. It's like okay. I think the example you gave Muller is if um. Uh, Star Wars: uh, Return of the Jedi ended with uh, af after the um, most of the confrontation with uh, between Luke and Vader and Palpatine. Uh, Chewie just shows up um, because he's there, and that's that's fine. It works plot wise, but he just shows up from the background and shoots Palpatine in the back, and he dies. And you'd be like, oh, <clears throat> consistently, consistency wise, that works fine. But it's just sort of like yeah. Then we get into I don't really like about... what they chose to do. Yeah, we. we... <laughs> We never get to have that conversation, really, because no one fucking gets there these days in terms of, like, having writing that makes sense but is not very satisfying. Yeah. We never really get to talk about stuff like that because nobody's fucking nailing the first part. Well, I guess that would be, uh, for me personally, Saving Private Ryan? Sure. Yeah, I think that would probably apply. There's a, there's a couple things that this applies to. It's, um... It's just that these days, the stuff comes out, and that conversation's barely getting had. I was desperately trying to figure out. I I I, I must be tired. Well, it's midnight, and I've not been sta I've not stayed up this long in a very long time. No, 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 well, no. I guess actually I've stayed up twenty four hours later than I normally would. Um, that sounds like rape. Over the course of a few, uh, I've, I've, over the course of going to bed like an hour later every night. So, yeah, this is I guess the latest I've ever. <laughs> Um, with probably like a grand total of like two weeks late going to bed because they go to bed like an hour later every it's night. It's the end of the Some story. <laughs> portal footage, and I forgot that like it was you. And I was like, I, whenever I'm watching Portal 2 footage, it's because someone's doing some crazy shit in the game. So like, my mind defaulted to that state. And I was watching you stack up like the, uh, the little cubes in front of the door and then bring the turret over them. So I'm like, what crazy trick is this guy fucking pulling? <laughs> What's going to happen here? This is insane! <laughs> it just doesn't, you're like, oh. Uh, uh, lame. I, I was really intrigued as to where the video was going. What is he like, saying? I don't know. Um, uh, I'm tired. But yeah, I don't know. The, 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 the solution for The Last of Us 2, how about we just... We first of all make some stuff make sense, then we can talk about whether or not they were true to the original and stuff. Um, or, or what narrative we, they should have ran with. Because, uh... Would the story have been better if it wasn't connected at all to the original IP? Maybe the question is trying to ask, would it be better if it was completely disconnected? In which case, probably, because they would have less to contradict. Uh, I think so, I broke my yeah. game. I'm not getting any souls, I just realized. Happy birthday afterwards, Meowla. Oh, birthday. <laughs> okay. Uh, isn't Christmas now better than Halloween? Oh, Confess. they gave me so. What the fuck? Christmas tries, it does. It really wants to be better than Halloween, but Halloween is just, it strolls in, it's like, hey. And everyone just goes like, oh shit, it's Halloween. And Christmas is like, I'm pretty cool too. And they're like, eh. If you have to say it, you know? Women should dress slutty all day, not only on Halloween. Also, also, high rags, Merry Christmas <laughs> at all. Thanks. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Crumbomius. Uh, please have Rags read this in an angry voice. Alright, no. well, I guess I'll have to find a... <clears throat> One moment. I shall get a thing and save this stuff. Nice loud soup. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Catholics don't believe you can earn your way into heaven, but believing Christ is the Son of God who forgives sins means you follow his teachings. Got that. Very well. Bitch. <clears throat> Uh, if the three little pigs were a Bible story, atheists would say that stupid pigs can't talk, while Christians would say this is true, story pigs could talk and build houses. In both cases, they missed the point of the story. Oh, shit. I mean, I think most atheists understand the concept of, like, a story only supposed to be putting forth a message. It's just that, mm. uh, some of the stuff in, in certain tellings of different t uh, scriptures are supposed to be things that actually happened. Dude, and, uh, he raped me. Depending on who you talk to, they might say that they are realsies or that they're not realsies. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Where 
are we? Man. Even then, one. like stories about, about your all powerful god <laughs> turning someone uh into a pillar of salt for, for doing butt stuff. I'm like, what is the message that God is terrible? Because I don't think it's supposed to be. Well, that's where reader response theory comes in, Jay. Oh no. <clears throat> Uh, Merry Christmas all from Florida man. Ari re money in Mando? Maybe 5,000 wasn't credits, but 1,000 was. Watto didn't want credits slash dataries. Dataries? Uh, still bad. Um, I mean, it wouldn't necessarily matter. That was more of an afterthought, that, that, that little bit. The, the more important part is the Mando <laughs> consistency of you pay 5,000 for a bounty. But one thousand, uh, and that pays for fuel, maybe, while five thousand repairs your ship. Like, hmm, that don't seem right. You should chuck the turret and the hole with all the other turrets to knock them over and kill them. Dude, can you pl if you can spare the turrets, you should. They're living creatures. Liar. Let me give an example, right? I need that cube, and all of them are best. just sitting there. I can do this without hurting. They don't. Them. They don't die. They just fire loads of bullets and panic and coom. If you just fucking do it the way I'm doing it, none of them die. Idiot. Ah, I killed one. No, I didn't. You killed two. No. Ah, you killed them all. I would never. I, I do love how they just like, ah, I'm panicking and coming. That's what They're they are going to delete it. Oof, one of them tisms here. Let's see. Well, you can't super chat the word Christians. Really? Cringe. Uh, okay, Catholics. okay. Disintegrating the turret, that's too far. That's your opinion. Okay. Fucking... You, you just, like... You just touch them and they, they get all excited and they go... Oh, right? That's fine. <laughs> Jamming their face into disintegration, that... That goes too far. Custom list. No. Done. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, Catholics do believe Genesis is actual history, but to the Lord, a 1,000 years no, is like a work. day, vice, and vice versa. <clears throat> um, I, 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 I'm not even good. 1,000 years to the Lord is like a day? I, don't, I got nothing. Yeah, I don't know. No hard feelings, doggo, here's a treat. Mm. You criticized religion, have some money, high rags. He would say hi. Uh, uh, Can what you I explain say Jared response theory? No. Um, what I tried to say earlier about Luke and Mando is it's the one moment in the entire story show that made me go, awesome! Only thing I asked to see from anything Star Wars after TLJ. Otherwise, I agree the show is enjoyable trash. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fine. Like, to think that scene is awesome, yeah. I, I can see, I can see why. Let's be a summary. Is it well choreographed? <laughs> I guess we might get a, uh, a Shad video breaking it down. Shad, do it. Tell me if, if Luke was flumping <clears throat> his loots well or not. Don't do it. It's a trap. Have y'all seen the Collider George Lucas deepfake? The Tross trailer reaction is great. I've been recommended that before. I still haven't seen it. I think this is standard item. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> the Expanse is a good show. I watched, I think three seasons and i thought it was kind of meh to bad but, um, <gasps> a moaning I, everyone, shield That's everyone is hot. very hype about it and so um i guess i missed out oh that was the shield yeah i'm playing as the white samari now that is cool though there's a lot of cool stuff in in uh in the expanse cool ideas i think it actually moans oh damn Sweet. Oh, Archmanager, thanks for the 300 bits. Going to pub with wife. Have a Merry Christmas, Metal and Chat. Have a Merry Crimbobulon, Archangel. And thank you for How many the biddies. Different ways do you think we're going to be able to pronounce Christmas by the end of this? Uh, you mean Crimbambalum? Crimbab. Crimbab. <laughs> um, uh, let me see if the shield moans. Guys, who is the cringiest atheist you know of? Hmm. I mean, like, it's probably gonna be one of the like 
the, <laughs> the low tier skeptic YouTubers. I, I assume they mean like I assume they mean cringy with their atheism rather than specifically. Uh, They're just cringe. Just an atheist. atheist who is also cringe. Um. Mentally okay. <laughs> the shit actually moves. It does. It just goes like. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, that's great. Ah. <laughs> oh. That's hilarious. Sentinel's mod is insane. Oh, I found the mod, I see. Star Trek TOS has a Lincoln in space, watch it. I'm fed rolling by default. Do you I disagree like, with that, Jay? I feel like that's a strange standard. <clears throat> that that seems like I'll the say. standard to me. Well then, watch it. That's better. <laughs> Troy and Crusher working out in 80s gear, best scene. <clears throat> That is a pretty good scene. Uh, Metal, the thousand years thing is trying to explain that seven days to create the universe isn't necessarily a week in human time. It's a <laughs> post HOC literalist creationist apologetics type argument, also known as bollocks. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, I just, I just like the idea that there's any kind of time restriction for God, you know, in any way. <laughs> like, I, I think that was one of the things I asked in my original RE classes. I was like, why did it take him seven days? It's like, or six, even, you know, because one day was for resting, whatever. Well, maybe he was thinking about it. <clears throat> maybe he was, <laughs> maybe he was like... He's, a, he's got his little, like, world editor. He's clicking through the menus, looking at the tooltips, like, um, yeah, trees. They seem neat. <laughs> trees? I like trees. Trees pretty cool. But, uh, <laughs> but, you know, <clears throat> compass, God, it's on a tight schedule. <laughs> com no compass in this world. They won't even know what compass are. I was going to make that joke, but I couldn't come up with anything that sounds vaguely real. I just kept going to flubes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the issue my brain was having as well. <laughs> my, my, my first one was flumbos. I'm like, no, it can't be flumbos. <laughs> Stop it, brain. Stop it. Stop. Y'all just really Stop it, brain. Stop. 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 Stop it, wrong. Stop it. Oh. Uh, Merry Christmas, you tisms, and a Happy New Year. If I if I got an artist to make skins slash characters of the EFAP crew in Dark's Dungeon, would you play it? Is that like a for like a uh, like modding it, or is it just I, something to put on screen? Uh, um, if it were the former, sure. I'd be tempted, but I wouldn't want to promise anything <laughs> like that because um, dude, I got my favorite item. I like Dark's Dungeon, but I don't know if I'd be able to commit to playing like through a lot of it. And I assume you'd want it to be on stream too. Where's the item metal? It's question mark, accessory, something, question mark. But I can't have it because my inventory has already have, has it or something. I don't know. Who, who's, you know, the, you know, question mark was the original uh, name of the Riddler. <laughs> really? Yeah, he was going to be called question mark. Is that uh, instead, true? Instead they went with the much more sensible name of Edward Nygma. Oh, good to Arbor, fuck yeah. No, that's not true. I'm... I'm, I'm you I'm do. A, I was bit. literally going to follow up with that makes sense because they ended up calling him Edward Nigma. Yes. <laughs> What's the most like that? You know, you know that kind of name for a comic book character because I think it's probably Harleen Quinzel. Mm -hmm. Stop. Um, Stop. Stop. Stop it, Ron. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I remember. Stop um, it, Harleen. I, when I first found out that was her full name, I thought it was like that was still post her becoming Harlequin or whatever. No, no, I, and, I, and I was, was like, no, 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 that's just that's I just her name. Use it. Literally, just calling her Harley Quinn, like that's her real name, would be less ridiculous than that. Harleen Quinzel. It's just like that's ah, okay. Harley and Quinn are both real names. Harleen Quinzel. I have never. I'm not gonna definitively say are not real names. I will just say, I have never seen them anywhere else. Hmm. They're certainly less common. Oh, look at the name arbiter over here. Are there any more names of that of that caliber in the uh, any more names? Comics? <laughs> is there more names than those? No. Like, like <laughs> you've got to pick. Your name is either Harley Quinzel or Edward Nigma. Eduardo Nigma. What do you mean? Is this like worth ten thousand or some shit? What do you mean, Penguin? Oh, 500. Penguin. Hey, hmm? Can I just... Victor Freeze to Mr. Freeze? That's not as bad. <laughs> that's like, not as bad. <laughs> his name being Freeze is still like... That's a weird name. It's crazy coincidence that you got ice powers, but it's not 
Harley not... Quinzel. Or Someone's Edward. gonna call you out on this. It's not freeze. It's like spelt with an S. So it doesn't like it's pronounced that way, but it's not the word freeze. Okay, God. It's Fresca, actually. Victor Von Doom. Victor Von Freeze. Oh, Doctor Doom. Time. That's that's pretty Victor oof. Von... By the way, I think Doctor Wait Doom coming from Victor Von Doom is as cringe as calling the evil place where the ring was made Mount Doom. Just FYI. Oh, cool. it's, those it's were, those, basically yeah, but those are dual hot evil. takes because it's criticized two things that are beloved. It's basically just Doctor Evil, but done unironically. Well, yeah. <laughs> Doctor um, Doom. Even though I think Doctor Doom's kind of awesome, I wish he wasn't called Doctor Doom. Or yeah. actually, I wish his real name wasn't Victor Von Doom. And he, if he calls himself Doctor Doom, fine. I don't know what exactly it's the reasoning sort of, is. For that, it's but... also like, oh, because he's an edge lord IRL, I guess. <laughs> Lol, I'm Doctor Doom. Like I don't, I, I don't see you making a character um, who dies himself Doctor Doom without that character having no self awareness, like in universe. Because that's the only way. Like, you can't take that name. Like. The only reaction to that is when a character renounces, I will call myself from now, Doctor Doom. Someone said Von Doom, Doom is a real surname. It doesn't matter if the names are real, really. I'm sorry. It's the writer's still choosing to call them this thing. What? It's a real surname. <laughs> it probably is. Do bring up the, no, do you want me to bring up the fucking military records of, like, what, Charles and Walter Spoart? Because I will find <laughs> Brainiac is also a dumb name. I mean, I'm cool with Brainiac if it's named by... So, this is this is the case that I'm okay with. Well, I'm not really okay with Mount Doom in this case. If if the, the constituents of Middle-earth hate that fucking place and consider it like death incarnate, and they go, it's we're calling it Mount Doom, versus Sauron fucking naming it Mount Doom. You know? Uh, and that goes the same for, like, if you have a place that, that kind of... Like, like, Brainiac is the AI that... Superman has to fight, right? And it's like, if Superman called it Brainiac... Uh, does it call itself Brainiac? It's kind of... It's kind of vain, isn't it? I it's kind of vain. I am pretty smart, uh, Slash. Pretty squad. Dr. Von Diom. Yeah. Brainiac's real Sorry. name is Vrildox. <clears throat> okay. There are... So, uh, there are military records in the US, I believe. Oh, no, I think... It might have been the UK, I can't remember specifically. I've got it written down, but, uh... I don't remember, I don't recall which country it was. On Ancestry.com, there's public records of um, <clears throat> Charles Spoart and Walden Spoart. Someone said the mountain's called K2 because it didn't have a name. I think K2 is a cool name. I don't know why. <laughs> Minimalist. You know? well, what if is it though? Yes. Uh, okay. What if you're... I'm not sure, I might be on an old seat. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter, works. What did you say, what Jay? If your real name was Walden Splat? <laughs> I would no <laughs> longer is. use my real name. There is a military record of a man called Walden Splat. What that a feels legend. Like, um, did you ever see the 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 uh, the thing from the uh, the Japanese video game where a guy, <laughs> some employee, a, a, it was like a baseball game, I think, um, and a, an employee at what, whatever studio it was. Um, who was Japanese had to come up with like a full team's worth of Western sounding names, but they were all. Did, have you ever? Did you see that? It's great. Non familiar nay. to me. Metal, did you see that? I just said nay. Oh, okay. Let me find them. No, I don't want it. Don't touch me. Uh, Western sounding names, baseball game. Old school Hollywood. Yeah, here it is. It's from. Shut up about fucking okay. system of a down mill. No. Like, okay, so this is. These are like fucking um, champed up level names. We've got Sleeve McDykel. <laughs> that's, that's champed strong, up for that's sure. A, that's a strong start. I'm excited now. Dude, I'm hooked. <laughs> <Sleeve. laughs> uh huh. And hang on, and totally smorin. All right. Uh, Bob's and Dugnut. Oh, what? Uh, 
All right, those are the best ones. I just like the first name, Sleeve. Sleeve is great. <laughs> Sleeve is, is fully a champed up name. Like, Smeeve is one of the ones we had, I think. Smeeve, yeah. Smeeve, yeah. Definitely. Invisible yeah, Smeeve. Invisible Smeeve was a character. Like, you could you could slot any of our, um... <laughs> any of our... Uh, well, a lot of our uh, ramped up names, and they would fit in in this list. Number like, Goon. Um, Pembo. <laughs> and Pefna. We should play Chapped Up on New Year's Eve. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Well, I think, um, I might, well, I have plans on New Year's Eve, but I don't know how they're gonna go with, uh, lockdown. Mm -hmm. So, depending on what happens, I guess. Uh, where are we? You should cover Farscape. I do intend to do something with Farscape at some point. <clears throat> I don't know what it's gonna be. Liar. But, uh, could be fun. Watch TOS, then TOG, TNG, sorry. Uh, while they are separate shows, but the original series builds the world out, you will miss some context in TNG. Also, to contrast Kirk and Picard. Get wrecked, Jay. Mr. I what? hate TOS. Cards. Favorite system of a down song. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, question. Broad dick. But there's so many good ones. Yeah. I like Eagle Brain a lot. I mean, BYOB is kind of a generic choice. You can't do that. I mean, yeah, it's, it's great. Not allowed to choose that one. It's got to be more interesting. Um, what's, um... What's the one? What's the name of the one that goes? Um, banana, 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 terracotta, banana, 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 uh, banana pie. Fuck! I always forget the is name. It of vicinity that one. of obscenity, or is that just a lyric? Yes. No, that's the one. That that is. It. I that's remember it. fucking loving that song. Yeah, that one is great. Banana, 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 terracotta, banana, terracotta, terracotta pie. You me on. Is, is there one called Bounce? That's just. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bounce! Pogo, 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 pogo! <laughs> Up! Down! Jump! Down. Now! Now! I saw him live once, it was fucking awesome. I went out on a date with a girl, it was late, she had so many friends. I don't even know how to fucking explain <laughs> no, 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 System no, no, of a Down, no, no. they're just awesome. Yeah. They released three new songs a couple of weeks ago. They're not that great, unfortunately. I don't like them that much. Old School Hollywood is actually pretty awesome, too. Old What's the... Hollywood? Oh, Sad Statue as well. I love that song. You and me will always... Oh, Fuck, what are the lyrics? Exist. With a sad statue of liberty And a Red generation rest. that didn't agree <clears throat> I want to listen to some of that now. You, you forced me. Metal is wrong. Yeah, Mel, why would you don't say the songs are bad in front of everybody? Wrong about what? Huh? Oh, the new ones? Do, I didn't say they it. were bad. I just say I didn't like them that much. Listen, gonna, you gonna, fuck. They're gonna force you to do a ten-hour critique <laughs> on the song. Oh god. Hell yeah. So some of the some of the down sucks. Oh my god. Yeah, you can seconded. tell that person. Damn. You have karaoke when? I'd be down. I love karaoke. Uh, Metal, That's you like Game Grumps? kind of hard to do, sorry, go ahead. Metal, you like Game Grumps? Not anymore. I remember you were still watching that for a decent while after meeting me, and I just kept shitting on them. I was like, I'll stop. Yeah, and then I got bored too, because it just got, uh... Dude, I, I think I've told people before, but Tired Grumps was the end of my rope. I was like, okay, I'm out. If you motherfuckers yeah. are actually gonna make a series where the whole point is that you <laughs> are barely fucking awake, it's like, screw you. I'm trying to figure out, what was the last thing I watched? The last thing I can remember watching was probably that Doki Doki Liter Literature Club playthrough. I think that's the last thing I watched, if I remember correctly. And then it just fizzled out and I couldn't bear it anymore. I was just like, eh. The funny part is like, we've done EFABs where we're all tired of shit, but it's usually at the 10th hour. <laughs> yeah. We're just tired now because it's the end of 2020. Yep, we had a long 2020. Watch Big Les show and play Liberal Crime Squad. I don't know what any of that is, but I agree.
<laughs> Long man Correct. PC ruins right. Christmas. Oh no. Ow. Looks like it's time for a fundraiser for a new PC, Mola. Golf killed it. Well, hopefully if I don't freeze for a while because I stopped playing golf, <laughs> then I'll know that it was golf. Um, I know this community doesn't like the whole there's a difference between boys and girls, but the fact is a grown man <coughs> would fuck up that girl. Not necessarily, okay? So the the, the Mandalorian girl, um, she's already... Like what? Like a wrestler IRL, right? So she's probably got yes, a Sasha Banks. She's probably got a body built to be able to to do something in some way. She's also got the armor, and she's a character that's probably got a history of fighting, right? So I'm cool with a character beating another one that is bigger than them through like leverage is a is a whole thing. If you watch Pirates of the Caribbean, they talk about leverage a lot because it's mm. a, it, it can change. A lot of situations that you think that you should be losing because of leverage. Now, I don't think they did a very good job of it when she fought Boba. In fact... Yeah, because she just pulled. Yeah, he just... pulls her and she stays still. <clears throat> she pulls him and he goes, whoa! It's like, I, I don't... Uh, I'm not following. I don't see how that works. And, you know, <clears throat> there's an argument to be made about the, the way they were standing or the fact that he was surprised, I guess. Um, I just wish they would have done it in a, in a way that was more justified than just having her pull him. She is made of a much denser material than he is. <laughs> it's So he's made of flesh, she's made of floosh, and it just like, floosh. you punch it, <laughs> and it's like stone. Floosh. Um, so yeah, oh Rags. damn, I got my floosh everywhere. This is a question for Rags, so I'll just save it for him. I've, I had a couple things left over for him from before. I probably should have just had an answer here, but we'll we'll try and do it in the next EFAP, I suppose. Not the next EFAP, because that's coming out tomorrow and it's going to be Crimbus one, so that's already <laughs> recorded. Crimbus. Um, and glory to the Toxic Brood and to all a very Merry Christmas. Glory to us. Wonderful. Guy. And with that, I think I'm now going to try and rescue what is left of whatever happened in this stream. Um, in the, what we'll do now is I'll unlist it quickly, so it's no longer clogging up anybody's. Oh my god! Look at this. Uh, this is the the overall sort of engagement level, I guess, and if you, you, of the stream. Just look at those two dips. It's like Fuck. what happened. At the same time, Metal Stream has the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> um, why does it keep? Okay, why? Why is there a consistent pattern of it going down, then up with two spikes, then down, then up with two spikes? I that's don't know. Weird. Maybe that's the way that we can process this to people. Mm. Yeah, I imagine that's not natural. It's probably some kind of weird bot thing. It's a word flungus. So um, I guess we're you, you're done so with the super chats. I well, I'm I'm gonna exit the the stream at this point. So, a quick quick outro would be that um, mm -hmm. tomorrow, and by that I mean about probably ten hours from now, uh, there's gonna be a premiere for the Jingle All the Way EFAP movies. An hour after that will be the premiere of the seven hour EFAP for Crimbus. It's all been it's all done ahead of time. Enjoy, and then an hour after that finishes will be Mandalorian episode eight reaction. And that's two hours long. So basically the whole day is just going to be filled with EFAP. Is the uh, is the is the Christmas EFAP any good or is it more just kind of wet bread? Uh, I'd say it's, it's, it's pretty commonplace. You'll probably find it everywhere. A bit, <laughs> bit soggy, soggy baguette sort of situation, yeah? Um, yeah. Are you, you going to continue streaming more at all? Uh, no, I, I need to get up tomorrow as well because I still have family stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna go <laughs> offline as well. Uh, thanks to all the subs and donations, it was all very kind. Uh, I will be back tomorrow online, actually. I don't know if any of the massives is gonna be around, but you can just, uh... I, I, I guess I just flume you and see if you're around. I'm just gonna be chilling here in the evening, probably just play some more Dark Souls. And yeah, if you want, if anyone needs something to hang out, I'll I'll be here. I'll be here. You'll be here. I'll be here. All right, everybody. Good boy. Say goodbye, Jay. No. Wow, Jay's such a cool. I thought boy. you were gonna say goodbye, Jay, and then I've been like, oh, that's not what I meant. That's that's 
Stupid. Say goodbye, Jay. Oh, I thought you were gonna say goodbye. Say goodbye, Jay, and I'd be like, oh, that's not what I meant. Yeah. Wait, you, you kept the first say in there. You have mm. to drop that for that joke to work. Shut mm. up. Otherwise, I would have. I realized what I did halfway through, and then I faulted a bit, and I was like, fuck it, I'm committed now. You were hoping no one would notice, but I saw the plot hole, Jay. I saw right through your plot <gasps> Ed, hole. Just edit it out in post. You can uh, do that. You can mute uh, it in post. Clip, clip, chip. Oh, look how good that was. T oh. of the. Heat. Wait, did you did you stop already? Oh my god. Okay. That's that's right to them. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, Merry Crabobulums. Merry Cremba.